Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Yankees Avenue watch party. And boy, folks, do we got a big one today. April 7th, 2024, game 10 out of 162. And the Yankees have an opportunity to take another series victory, which would be their third straight to start out the 2024 regular season. And man, like I said, it is a big one. We'll go over the lineup. We'll go over the starting pitching matchup. How you guys doing in the chat? I'll, uh, I'll pull up what you guys are saying in just a moment. Now, a little uh, housekeeping update, if you will. I did finally make the switch on the latency settings for my YouTube live streams, which for those who don't know what latency is, I didn't really know what it was until uh, just recently myself. This should now allow the feedback to be much quicker between stream to you guys. You know, you've made, not, I don't want to say you've been complaining, but you've, you know, made the point that I'm like a pitch or two behind when we're doing these. That hopefully shouldn't be the case today. I should be getting to your guys' screens quicker than past live streams. So, quick little update there. And speaking of updates, we got a good one this morning. Garrett Cole will begin throwing in the next few days. Now, I will say, I don't. I, it doesn't feel like it's necessarily rushed to me, but part of me does feel like, yo... I don't think we got to be like jumping the gun on this at all. Like, let's take our time. I would give him another two weeks off, but probably not going to tell Garrett Cole to, you know, delay his return even more than what it already is. So that's good news. Obviously, I assume that he'll be getting some sort of a checkup before officially going back to, you know, they always say playing catch. That's what the report actually was. It was Garrett Cole is going to start playing catch soon. That to me, the phrasing of that never made much sense. It's have a catch, not play catch. Let me know in the chat what you guys say, play catch or have a catch. Play catch to me sounds like something like, I don't know, like when, when a four-year-old gets their first baseball glove, they're like, Dad, can we play catch? Not what the ace of New York Yankees is doing. So regardless, he's going to start throwing soon, and um, once he does, we'll get a little more uh, updates on that. Of course, still a, a good little while away. Of course, he was placed in the 60-day IL, so he's out regardless until at least May 27th, probably a little bit later than that. I mean, the, the earliest return date for Cole is expected to be like June. I've been saying, yo, like we could go honestly without the whole – the whole first half without him. As long as we get him back um, for the second half and in particular uh, the playoffs, that's a W to me. But, uh, yo, let's go over the starting lineup for today. And not much has changed. Not anything, actually. It is a carbon copy of what the Yankees ran out yesterday. Looking at Torres, Soto Judge, Rizzo, Stanton, Verdugo, Volpe, Wells, Cabrera. And, of course, that's the same lineup that scored nine runs against the Blue Jays yesterday and, impressively, against Kevin Gaussman, who's one of the better pitchers in baseball, really, and has pitched pretty damn well against the Yankees as of late, but not last night. They worked his pitch count up, um, scored four runs off of him, had him knocked out. There's an inning and a third into the game. Very impressive offensive showing yesterday. Of course, the game ended up being much closer than we would have liked. It was at one point eight to two, finished nine to eight. Not ideal, but a win is a win, and the Yankees have a chance to secure a series win this afternoon. First pitch is coming up in about 30 minutes, so uh, let's just kick it right here. Um, for a good little bit, of course, on the mound today for the Yankees is going to be Luis Heal, who looked pretty damn good in his first start of the year in Arizona last week. Of course, he did not get through five innings. If he did, he would have gotten the win. But regardless, four and two thirds allowed just one run, which is you know good for a 1.93 ERA, 0.86 WHIP, and struck out six guys. Luis Heal has nasty stuff. We know the deal. Can he get his control um, under control, if you will? As long as he does that, he should be good. You do hope that he can get past five this time, though, because the Yankees' bullpen is pretty taxed. You look at, uh, in this chat, at uh, James Smythe, former uh, former colleague of mine on the Toe in the Slab podcast, of course, uh, works for the Yes Network. This is the bullpen budget with the pitch counts from yesterday. The Yankees have used the crap out of the bullpen so far this season. And, you know, you look at what their starting pitchers have given them, while a lot of good performance, like good performances earned run-wise, they have not gone very deep into games outside of Marcus Stroman. Stroman is the only guy to have completed six innings for the Yankees so far this year. He's done it twice. Everybody else, not so much. You know, Clark yesterday allowed just two runs, but only went, what, four and a third? So hopefully he'll can, at the very least, pitch into the sixth inning today, maybe even get through six. That would definitely be a big W for this bullpen. Uh, real quick for the Blue Jays, they got this guy, Bowden Francis, who, man, I have a start from uh, Houston last week up here. He got shelled. You see the numbers, 5 and a third, 11.81 11, uh, 11 ERA. Of course, that's just one really bad start, but it was bad. Seven earned runs against the Houston Astros. And this start took place April 1st 
which was a week ago, the Astros' first game after we left town. So, of course, we had the four-game sweep, and we kept our offense pretty much at bay the whole time. I mean, obviously our offense looked good, but our pitching looked pretty damn good as well. They were pretty cold against us, their lineup. And then they come out their first game having uh, faced a different opponent, this guy, Bad and Francis and the Blue Jays, and they knocked him around. So we'll see what he's got. Of course, you know, I got the pitches uh, that he throws up here. Mostly four-seam curveball and slider. Does have a split finger that'll mix in there on the occasion. I mean, he only threw three of them last time out. But the Yanks were able to hit Kevin Gaussman yesterday with this lineup. They should be able to hit uh, Bad and Francis. So I'd say uh, the main focus of tonight is, of course, or excuse me, this afternoon, can the offense... Continue the production they had yesterday. I'd like to think they can. And also, how does Luis Heal do? But let me uh, pull up the chat here and see what you guys are saying. I don't want to, you know, say this term again, but I did say it yesterday and it worked out. I consider, I'm considering this a non-mathematical must-win for the Yankees. Now, of course, non-mathematical must-win, you can apply it to pretty much anything. And if they do lose, if they do end up losing this game, um, it wouldn't be the end of the world by any means. But you want to get another series win under your belt, especially against excuse me, your rival in the Blue Jays, which, man, I talked about this a little bit yesterday. They are easily my, you know, the Houston Astros' number one most hated team for me. Number two, not too far behind, is the Blue Jays. And one of the examples for that is what Vlad did yesterday, man. I love the roast that Kay and Paul O'Neill did when Vlad hits a homer, down 8-3, and he does that little thing he does right on third base where he's like, shh, like shushing the crowd. And I don't care if he does it every single time. I understand, like, that's his thing. That's his little celebration. Well, it's stupid. It's really stupid, especially when you're losing by as much as he was. And I love what Paul O'Neill said. He's like, you're telling us to shush? You shush. So, would love to, especially after, you know, getting shut out in the home opener, losing 3 nothing, to come back, obviously win yesterday, win today, taking the Series W, that would be amazing. Let's see what you guys are saying. Chris Rewood, so what up, Chris? Says, how you feeling, Dan? I'm feeling good, dude. I'm feeling good. Having a nice little Sunday so far. I got, a, I got my coffee from Dunkin' this morning. Had a little bit of munchkins. You know, of course almost finished with my coffee but uh yeah man nice day outside at least in terms of the sun being up feeling really good about this team and yo someone we haven't even talked about in regards to this lineup the wrc pluses and mainly just the stats period offensively are starting to creep up particularly Giancarlo stanton after a three for three day yesterday or three for four excuse me where he looked phenomenal of course had that homer in the first inning followed judge up two batters later with this solo shot and then had a single in his second at bat. And honestly, most impressive, his third at bat, he took a 94 mile an hour fastball and ripped a single through the le left side into left center field. And he hit it for like, it was like a 150 mile an hour single off a 94 mile an hour fastball. And we know what plagued Stanton the most last year, ever since his like big time decline, has been fastballs, particularly against right handed pitchers. And he looked pretty damn good against that one yesterday. So three-hit day for Stan has his WRC plus now over 100 at 102. Climbed from entering yesterday's game, it was 24. Now it's at 102. So he's technically uh, an above-league average hitter this season. 214 average. OBP is still pretty low, but his slugging has gotten up there, and that's how you get that 102 WRC plus. But uh, awesome game for Stan yesterday. Judge, of course, had the two-run shot in the first inning. That was dope. He's now, look at his stat. Well, the average is still low at 212. OBP up to 357, and his WRC plus 141. So very quickly, and that's kind of the point I'm making here is, especially when it comes to individual player stats, this early in the year, it's like you can't be bugging out about what a guy's hitting. Because like that, one good game can change it. I mean, just talking, going back to what I said about Stan, his WRC Plus entering yesterday was 24, and now it's above league average. Judge, just a few days ago, before the series finale in Arizona, his stats did not look good at all. And then now look at it. He has a 141 WRC Plus, 357 OBP, two homers. Soto? Quietly, a nice day yesterday. Or I shouldn't say quietly, but he got on base a few times, had two RBI singles. His stats are, of course, looking good. Rizzo, that was a big homer for him. Two-run shot, getting on the board in the home department. He, his WRC Plus is creeping up towards 100, not just there. Um, not there just yet. But uh, all in all, the Yankees lineup is starting to click a little bit. That was a good game yesterday, especially scoring right out of the gate. Hopefully they can do that today against um, Bowden Francis, who, again... Did not have a good first start of the year in Houston last week. Let's see what you guys are saying. AJC says, Dan, why is Wells starting behind the plate today? Usually the catcher gets a day game off if you play the night game. Yo, I'm glad you asked that question, and it's exciting. The reason why, or at least the reason I think why, is because the Yankees are not punching this game. They know it's a big one. They know they have to do their best to try and secure a series victory. And by doing so, or in order to do so, they're throwing out the exact same lineup that scored nine runs yesterday. I think this is 
one of the many things Yankee fans can be happy about about the changes from years past to this one is the lack of punt lineups. We really haven't seen any of it. I was, you know, going to sleep last night, I was thinking like, man, you know, you mentioned the, the well, Wells playing in, instead of Trevino, day game after a night game. That in itself is a W. But I was kind of nervous that they might sit Stanton today. I feel like last year they possibly would have had a planned off day for him. This is where you get, you know, Trent Grisham in, give Judge half a day at DH. But no, Stanton getting back-to-back games, or I guess, you know, three games in a row now, which is the right move. Coming off of how good he looked yesterday, and you know, playing Wells too. Like, this is a lineup that the Yankees are throwing out there, exact same as yesterday, that you feel good about that they'll be able to hopefully come close to replicating the production they put up yesterday. So to answer your question, dude, I think it's because we finally have the proper sense of urgency. Let's see what else you guys are saying. Um, oh, shit, really? Hey, Dan, the volume on that Judge home run and Rizzo home run was on, and it was a bit tough to hear you. Oh, crap, my bad. Was it really? Thanks for letting me know, dude. I'll fix that if I uh, pull that up again. Dude, I, it's so annoying. I always uh, I always usually um, have it all figured out. My bad. Thank you, though, dude. Let's see. Um, what factors into WRC plus? So WRC plus it factors in um, league average hitting, which league average is 100, and it factors in like um, park factor. It factors in. Let me pull up the actual definition. I'm always like terrible at actually explaining it. Um, but WRC plus it accounts for external factors like ballpark and era, and it it it, it really um, factors in like relative circumstances and league average being 100 anything above or below that is how much better or worse you are than a league average hitter so judge being at 141 that means he's 41 percent better than a league average hitter lucas t fitness hell yeah dude thank you sends in 499 anyone else think mark share looks like a carrot nah never really saw that but i appreciate the five bucks though dude thank you big fan of uh mark to share big fan of rizzo since they got him yeah dude I, rizzo is i've always said this rizzo is very much a 90s Yankee. He really kind of gives off that vibe. He, he fits all, He fits well on the team. Oh, you're good, AJ. You're good. Um, Daily Monk quote says, really want a big game from Wells today. Yo, me too, man. Me too. Let me try to pull up his thing here. You know, I talked about this, but his at-bats have looked good. Obviously, the production isn't there, but with how serviceable he's looked defensively behind the plate, there's really no reason to play Trevino over Wells except on days where you kind of have to. Of course, you know, an everyday season for a catcher is about like 130 games a year. So the backup guy is going to get in, you know, quite a good amount. But no reason not to be playing Wells at least 70% of the time. And yeah, with that said, you like to see him get going, particularly in the homer department. It'd be nice to see him go deep today. <laughs> Dude, never seen a carrot before. I was crushing carrots the other day. Check Eater says, hi, enjoying your streams. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm having a blast doing them. Hydro Warrior Nash says, I have one of the Yankees jackets with the patches for the World Series wins, and it's ripped, so I need a new one, but I've been waiting to get one until they get 28. That's dope, dude. Any Yankees apparel with, like, a World Series patch on it is is sick. Or really any, like, any patch, like, whether it's, like, the, the Jeter final season game patch, um, or uh, what are the patches that they had? You know what? I'm a weirdo because, you know what I'm a big fan of? And I wish it wasn't associated with death. I freaking think the black armbands are like the dopest shit. Maybe it's because I associate it with a lot of like winning seasons. Like of course in like 1998 they had the black armband. Or even like 2017. Not that that was a winning season. But they had the black armband towards the end of that. 2019 they had it on. And they wear it when you know somebody passes away. It's like in their honor. They put the black armband on the left sleeve. I wish that wasn't associated with death. Because I honestly think it looks sick. Am I a weirdo for that? I don't know. Um... When do you think Soto hits his first homer in the Bronx? Let's go with today, bro. Let's go with today. And that's another thing really exciting about yesterday's game is obviously how the offense performed, but hitting home runs. The small ball is cute. Manufa manufacturing runs in an old-fashioned baseball way, that certainly has its place, and you got to be able to do that 100%. But you also got to be able to hit home runs too. And it's no coincidence, the Yankees had their best offensive showing of the season yesterday, and they hit three home runs. Judge... Stanton and Rizzo. So, and speaking of, Christopher Woodson says, how many home runs today, Dan? Let's see, let's see. Who do we think is going deep today? You know what would be nice too? If Glaber, if Glaber got on the board in the homer department. You know, he's starting to hit a little bit better. I thought, man, I really thought that, that sack fly to left center, I thought that shit was gone. I think Kay did too. Kay got pretty hyped. And Paul O'Neill, if you look back at uh, um, his reaction to it, he did a classic like, oh, because he thought it may have been gone too. Ended up just being a sack fly. But Glaber's starting to look a little bit better. And uh, who else here, too? Um, 
Verdugo got his first out of the way. It'd be nice to see Volpe maybe go deep at Yankee Stadium. He uh he had an O for yesterday, but his stats were still looking freaking crazy. And yo, shout out to his Waldo too, man. Waldo, of course, he cooled down a little bit after a crazy series in Houston. But like yesterday, his at-bats are still looking really good. Had that single to left field. I believe he had a walk as well. But overall, like his at-bats still, like they continue to look really impressive. And his season stats are still showing, dude, I mean, 178 WRC+. plus. That's, that's pretty nuts. Pretty freaking nuts. And, you know, you can't expect him to keep up, like, even if he were to finish the season with, like, a 120 WRC+. plus. I feel like that's pretty far-fetched. But if Waldo can go from being a well, well below league average hitter last year to even just being league average this year with his versatility, man, oh, man, would that be a W. And we did find out, remember, yesterday that DJ is uh, going to start hitting soon, too. So we'll see what the deal is with him if, you know, it, what the Yankees' plans is to bring him back into the fold, I can't imagine that you just automatically give the starting third base job to DJ, right? I feel like it would probably be some sort of platoon. Like, say DJ, just for example's sake, came back tomorrow. Is he getting automatically every day at bats at third? The way I see it, I mean, you're platooning with him with Waldo until, uh, until Waldo cools off. Stanton has been known to hit home runs in bunches. Very true. Very true. So if you want to go with uh, Stanton to be the guy that goes deep today, I would not hold that against you. Um, yo, facts. Good point, Paul Bossy. Uh, that Glaber, that sack fly yesterday, the left center one we were just talking about that I thought was a grand slam, home run in 22 out of 30 ballparks, which for those who were watching on the stream, I, I talked about this right afterwards and something I kind of like tweak about a lot because Yankee Stadium is always considered like a crazy hitter's park, right? Which honestly isn't true. If you look at park factor, they rank around the middle of the pack. And the reason is, well, yes, the short porch certainly an advantage for left-handed hitters. Left center almost negates that. It kind of makes it a wash because it's, as we saw yesterday, that Glaber homer, it keeps a lot of balls in the ballpark that otherwise, in other parks, in this case, 22 out of 30 would have been home runs. That's why I brought up this example as well. Juan Soto, you know, when we got him, technically a left fielder, but because he's not great defensively. And we saw a little bit for the first time where Soto, you could see, not the best defender out there um, in right field. But the reason the Yankees put him in right instead of left is... You need a good-ass defender. You need a good-ass corner outfielder to man left field in Yankee Stadium, especially when chasing balls in left center because it's so big. They don't call it Death Valley for uh, for no reason. So, uh, yeah. Yo, what's up, boys? London here. Yo, what up, bro? I assume that means you're watching from London. That's pretty dope. London, huh? I'll get out there at some point. I just uh, never left the country. You know? It's more so about that we talked about my, my fear of flying yesterday. I'm not so sure I'll ever get out there for that reason, but that's dope, dude. I was sure that was a grand slam off the bat. Yeah, no, nah, me too, man. Me too. Daniel Jock says, I want DJ back because Glaber in the five hole looks amazing. I agree with that, dude, which is why, real quick, I'll pull this up. This was my proposed lineup for the Yankees consider at some point, mostly if Volpe keeps hitting. But you probably want to give him, like, a good month or so before you actually do this to, like, ensure he's off to, like, an officially, like, a, a good good hot start because it's still early. But if the Yankees were to move Volpe up to the leadoff spot, or in your example, sure, if you wanted to go with DJ. DJ speed, though, it honestly... How frequently he gets injured, like, I'm not really banking on anything from DJ after this latest injury. You know, I don't mean that in, like, a rude way. I love DJ a lot, and he definitely has a role in this team. I mean, even if he's not starting, like, LeMahieu being on the bench instead of, like, just look at the bench right now. Like, you replace Jemai Jones with DJ LeMahieu, I mean, holy crap, is that a good bench. But anyways, I love the idea of eventually leading off Volpe and then getting Glaber back to the five hole. So I'm with you there, dude. I'm with you there. Who was that? That was, uh... Daniel Jock, I'm with you there. It'd be really dope to be able to uh, get Glaber back in the five hole. Not that I have an issue with him on a, and ignore those WRC pluses. I just, I didn't anticipate bringing the screen up. So those are from before yesterday, but um, yeah, Glaber back in the five hole. I would love that. Why am I getting ads on a live stream? Ah, I don't know, dude. I can't really control that. I don't think. Um, Zen, I hope I'm saying your name right, bro. Says uh, Zania Semyanko. Dan, do you watch every single game? Your highlight posting game is insane. Love your work. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. I post every single game. Appreciate you, bro. Um, the only games I will not be doing watch parties for are, like, the home opener. I was at that game, so obviously I couldn't live stream that. And then there will be a case this upcoming weekend, speaking of flying, where I'm going to L.A. while the Yankees are in Cleveland. I'm flying up on Thursday, which is an off day. Friday, because we're doing our live Baseball Today event. I unfortunately will be like just watching that game from my phone, which sucks. Some freaking middle school crap. I hate doing that. And then Saturday I fly back. I'll see if I'm home in time for. I have to see what time the game is. But yeah, no. Besides those situations, I'm I watch every single game, hundred percent, and we'll be live streaming all all of them. Um, let's see here. Yo yo Jack yo says my stepbrother Bowden Francis. No joke. 
I'm a big Yankees fan. Who do I root for? You're kidding. Yo, we got somebody in the chat right now whose stepbrother is the starting pitcher for the Blue Jays today. Are you for real, bro? Who do you root for today? I mean, I ain't going to hold that against you. I, I hear you're a Yankees fan, but if you want to root for him, that kind of makes sense. I would say if you're a Yankees fan, maybe you go the route of you root for Bowden Francis, your stepbro apparently, to deal, have a good-ass game, and then the Yankees get to the Blue Jays' bullpen. If that's the way you're going to root, I would not hold it against you. That's crazy, dude. Um, who would you take, Austin Wells or Jose Trevino? Austin Wells, 100%. 100%. SC Productions, where's Jason going to play when he gets back? Um, it really depends on you know the circumstances of where the team's at when he comes back. One, injuries may just figure this whole problem out it for itself. The other option would be if John Carlos Stanton ends up go, like reverting back to his excuse me, 2023 self, that's the clearest lane for Dominguez to get at bats right away. I've been very vocal about this that I want Jason to get a good like bank on him getting honestly 30 days in AAA because it was only 8 games last year while he looked great. He is just 21 years old. Coming off Tommy John surgery like you want to make sure this dude is good to go by the time you do call him back up to the majors. But in terms of his role, once he is ready to go, the DH spot, if Stanton isn't hitting, I feel like that has Jason's name all over. But hey, if Stanton is hitting, then you have a conundrum, a good conundrum that could also be solved by, knock on wood, potential injuries. But um, yeah, we'll see what the deal is with Jason. He's he's progressing well, man. I mean, he was batting from both sides of the plate by the end of spring training. He's been throwing, I believe. So Jason's probably not all that far off. Um, Sean D, hell yeah. What's up, dude? Sends in uh, 10 bucks. You think we lose Glaber at the deadline or in the offseason or you think we extended him? Love the content. Keep it up. Thank you, bro. Um, for Glaber, it's it's interesting because a lot of people bring up how the Yankees are going to, to bring back Soto, they're going to have to get rid of Glaber because they're not going to want to offer him a long-term deal. The thing is, though, is it's not like the Yankees are going to go from paying Soto five hundred grand this year to $50 million next year. He's already being paid $30 million. You figure that probably goes up to at least forty-five. So sure, you're tacking on $15 million. In Soto's case, at the minimum, going from 30 a year to 45 a year. With Glaber, though, there's a very high probability that whatever long-term deal you extend him on, if you were to, the AAV for him will stay pretty much the same. He's making like $15 million this year. I feel like, while well, maybe over a six-year deal, at most Glaber gets, if you want to stay with the Yankees, this is, and sure, it'd probably entail a hometown discount, which... If I were to guess a player that would be willing to take a hometown discount, everything I've heard from Glaber Torres suggests that he would be down to do so. But even so, say Glaber's deal is like 20 year over six. That's six years, 120 million, which I think is honestly more than fair for Glaber. That would just be a $5 million increase. So all in all, to keep Glaber and Soto, right? Going with the 15, just a guess of Soto's salary going from the 30 million he's being paid this year, right around that, to at least 45, let's say, that's 15. And then Glaber's salary increases from, let's say, 15 to 20, that's 5 million. To keep Soto and Glaber, you're looking at your payroll going up by $20 million. So I am not ruling out that the Yankees could bring him back. I'd like for them to bring him back. Although, with that said, it is possible that they let him go. And if they were to let him go, you're probably looking at Yorbit Vivas, and if they still have him, Oswald Peraza competing for the second base job. I would lean towards Jorbert Vivas, who looked phenomenal in spring training. He's the Yankees' number 10 prospect. Of course, they got him in the uh, the deal with the Dodgers this past offseason for uh, Victor Gonzalez. They traded Trey Sweeney, their 2021 first-round pick. Traded him for Victor Gonzalez and Jorbert Vivas, who's second baseman, uh, bats from the left side. Dude is a stud. So they have options if they want to move off of Glaber, but I'm not ruling out. A lot of people just consider it like a foregone conclusion that uh, Glaber's gone after this year. I do not think that that's the case. Good question, though. Um, and thank you for the tip, dude. Appreciate you, Sean. Let's see here. Um, we got a lot of chats coming in. Uh, Ryan Gonzalez says, do you think the Yankees right now have a good bullpen to face and can beat any team? Um, well, they definitely could beat any team. But you could say it honestly about, I mean, the Oakland A's can technically beat any team at any moment. But uh, the Yankees bullpen right now is definitely a slight cause for concern, at least more than normal, because of the injury to Jonathan Loisaga. And a lot of that stems from what we talked about in the beginning about their starters are not giving them length. And you really hope that Luis Hill can get them at least pitching into the sixth today because going back to the, the bullpen budget, once again, shout out my boy James Smythe. They've used it a lot, man. And today, who's available? I mean, Clay figures available. We'll have to see about Ian Hamilton. I would lean towards probably not. Ferguson, he's probably available. Birdie, maybe. I mean, if you look at... And Santana, probably not. I wouldn't be surprised if Jake Cousins gets in this game. Of course, Luke Weavers, he's not going to be available. If Luis Heal can get them through six, 
They probably go to Ferguson for the seventh. And if he can get them through the eighth, they would be jumping for joy and then Clay for the ninth. So I think the main thing today that we want from Heal, get us through six innings. If he can do that, which is kind of a tall ask with, you know, even though he's improved at his command, he does still walk a lot of guys. I mean, Heal, I believe, walked four guys, three or four guys his last time out, which of course elevates your pitch count. And even sometimes when Heal's effective in terms of striking guys out or getting outs, he'll still, especially later in the game, his pitch count will increase because he's getting deep into counts. So bottom line is hopefully Heal can get through six. Otherwise, I am slightly concerned about how much the bullpen is being taxed. Do I worry about the Yankees' ability to like keep turning out or turning out like high-end relievers from scrap? No, that's something you can pretty much always trust the Yankees on. And you also will have a uh, Tommy Canley hopefully returning at some point. Although he did have a setback kind of recently, so we'll see what the deal is with him. But yeah, I do expect the Yankees though to definitely make a move at the deadline or even sooner for uh, some some relief help because they need arms. They just, they just need arms. Holy crap, Sean. What the heck, dude? You're insane. Sends in 20 bucks. Yo, thank you, dude. Appreciate you. He says, uh, I'm traveling to Cleveland for that series. What do you think the result would be? Guards look good. Honestly, I'm not all that caught up on how the Guardians have been doing, which, uh, shit, we got to get this game cone soon. Um, let's see. I'm going to check the... I know it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday series. Otherwise, just known as a weekend series. The Yankees... Oh, you're right. The Guardians do look good. They're 7-2. and two. Um... I mean, it's baseball. Anything can happen. I would like to think that we take that series two out of three. Um, but, yeah, no, we'll see. And thank you, dude, for the 20 bucks. That's nuts. And uh, have fun in Cleveland, dude. I want to get out there at some point. But, uh, yeah, so Friday, 7 o'clock. Saturday, 6 o'clock. Sunday, 1 o'clock. So we'll see. I should hopefully be able to be home maybe in time Saturday night. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's still kind of far away. Now, one idea, speaking of Luis Heel, that I proposed yesterday that I could see the Yankees considering is if they – do desperately start to need bullpen help. They have a lot more depth in the rotation than they do down in the minor leagues for the bullpen. You could, if you wanted to, and if you really needed to, put Luis Hill in the bullpen. Because boy, would his stuff translate as kind of a replacement for Jonathan Loisa as a two-inning, multi, like, you know, multi-inning reliever. And then for the five spot, if you want to like call up Will Warren or Clayton Beater or even put Luke Weaver in that role, I don't know. But if the Yankees... Like, desperately needed an elite arm out of the bullpen. Don't be surprised if they end up putting heel there. Even with how good, you know, he looked in spring training as a starter, one start in, in the regular season as a starter. Just a thought. And that's me complimenting heel with how good he is. That, you know, especially for a quick two innings of work, like, I wouldn't be surprised if he was, like, one of the Yankees' best relievers in the bullpen if the Yankees put him there. Not that I don't want to see him in the rotation. I'm just saying... Consider an option that they would do that. All right, let me uh, let me get my game up on here. We're about to get going in. Well, the official, like the broadcast, will start in two minutes. I got 1:28 p.m. right now, and then uh, first pitch is at 1:35. All right, one sec, guys. All right, how you guys doing? Happy Sunday, by the way. Happy Sunday. Um. Desperate, but Heal has earned his starting spot. 100%. 100%. Heal has definitely earned his spot in the rotation. And it would suck having to break in the news if they were to go this route. I'm just saying that they might consider it. And I myself would consider it, you know. Not just yet, but once again, the word I'm using here is like desperately. If they desperately needed a good, reliable arm out of the bullpen, putting Heal back in the bullpen as a two-winning guy and then just calling up Will Warren or Clayton Beater to take the five spot may not be the worst idea in the world. Yeah, I heard. Uh, Juan Avilar says, Michael King pitched seven innings yesterday, looked perfect. Yeah, that was a really good start for him. That was a good start for King. I'm happy for the guy. And uh, Sevy pitched pretty well, too, for the Mets. Jacob King says, I miss Michael King so much, man. I'm not healing at all from him leaving. And, dude, boy, could we use him right now. Talk about a multi-inning guy out of the bullpen. Happy Sunday, uh, Dan and chat. Let's get it. What up, Morgan? How you doing? Christopher Woodson says, heal stuff would be nasty out of the bullpen 100%. 100%. Big Picture Guy says, I love Torres, but he's not coming back. It's just not going to happen. I'm, I would not rule it out, dude. I would not rule it out. I hear you that, you know, if you were to predict that he leaves, fair. I don't think it's a certified lock that he's gone. Particularly because I think Glaber is willing to take a cheap enough hometown discount to where the Yankees will at least go into negotiations with him. And if his AAV stays relatively the same, like 15 to 20 mil a year, not 15, but probably like 17 to 20 mil a year, 
I think they at least consider it. Doing good, fighting spring allergies today. <laughs> Yo, man, me too, man. My allergies have been nuts lately. Absolutely nuts. Up oh, here we go. You hear that? Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching, yes. It's a shame, they don't do the uh, Yankees Entertainment and Sports Network anymore. All right, here we go. Mm. Some are calling this a huge game. Huge game, chat. And I was pumped. I put Stanton on my pregame today. All right. Um, give me one sec. I'm going to pull up the judge stat thing again. And I'm going to mute it. So you might hear audio real quick. There we go. All right. All right, chat. Yo, what's good, Demario? How you doing, bro? Facts. Yes, intro is so hyped. Especially coming when you're watching MLB TV and it's totally silent because it's like broadcast is about to start and then out of nowhere you just hear Tom A says, I want AA Bob Shepard as the voice of Yankee Stadium. Dude, if that were like morally okay, like I would be so down. I would be so down. If that was like, if like Bob Shepard's family like pushed that idea, like that would be sick. K rocking the glasses again. Let me uh, try to get the box score up here nice and early. Nice and early. Dude, watching that Judge Homer back yesterday was crazy, man. Like, Actually, I'll have it right here. I'll pull it up. Um, like, look what this pitch was. That was a splitter that probably wasn't even a strike by the time it landed. On an 0-2 count, too. And he just took that shit and crushed it into the bullpen. Nuts. The Rizzo Homer as well, man. I mean, that probably wasn't even a strike either. Some really good swings by the Yankees yesterday. And as I said, the most exciting swing was... Giancarlo Stanton turning on a hundred, or excuse me, a ninety-four mile an hour fastball and lining it for a one hundred fifteen mile an hour single. All right, the ESPN box score is not up just yet. Yo, give me a what do we got? A score predictions wise, chat. Give me some score predictions. Do do do. Excuse me. Dude, I've been so gassy on these streams lately. I don't know what's going on. I kind of woke up a little bit earlier today than I have been. Ever since the season started, my sleep schedule's been so out of whack. I've been waking up at like, on weekends at least, at like noon. Today though, a nice like 10, 15. So slowly but surely we're getting there. Hopefully I can be, I like to get up at like, if I can, like at least before nine. Let's see, we got a, uh, a lot of score predictions. Let's go. Seven, five Yanks, seven, three Yanks. Seven, ooh, a couple seven threes. A few seven threes. Four, two, five, four, 14 to three. Hell yeah, Daniel. Eight, four, six, four. 2-6, Yankees win, so I guess you mean 6-2. Six, 6-3, two. Six, 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 or 4-2, 6-3, 5-3, 5-1. Five, five, Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Angel Hernandez is the ump today. Angel Hernandez is the ump. And yo, if you guys are in here, do me a favor. Do uh, Can you drop a like on this video? It helps me out a bunch. And also, if you're new, do me a favor and subscribe. We got a bunch of stuff going on here. Um, of course, highlights after every win. And yes, it is just every win because doing losses, they torment me and... Now, I'll do some losses if there's, like, if it's a good back-and-forth game. Like, yesterday, I probably would end up doing highlights if we lost. Because, like, Judge went deep, Stanton went deep, Rizzo went deep. But, like, when we get shut out, like, what was it, 7 nothing against Arizona, like, there's literally no highlights to even show. So. Dude, the highlight video last night, man, that was a blast to make. I almost caught myself taking too long to upload that shit because I was just, like, really enjoying making it. And I was, like, almost, I was watching back the highlights a little too long. And before I knew it, like, the yes post game was over. I was like, oh, shit, I got to get these highlights up. And yo, shout out to whoever, a few of you guys said it, but shout out to whoever um, kind of uh, made sure I used this picture for the post game. I also use it in the uh, um, the YouTube highlights thumb too. Hopefully you can post 90 plus highlight vids. Oh yeah, 100%. That's the plan, dude. That is the plan. Most years I do. I mean... 2019, which was the first year I started doing highlights for every every win, that was uh, over 100. Um, 2021 uh, ended up with 92 wins, so I did 92 highlight videos. 2022, 99 highlight videos, and then of course last year just 82. But you got Soto going deep today? Hell yeah, bro! Cabrera going deep, Wells going deep. I just like give me some homers, man. I don't even care who hits them. I have some preferences, but in the end, like. Just whoever whoever wants to hit him, please do. Because home runs are good. So is small ball. So is manufacturer runs. But home runs are good. 
All right, we are almost set for game time. Looks like we got one more commercial break on yes, and then we're uh, we'll be getting going here. Man, am I excited for heel today? What uh, how do you guys feel about heel? Sean, you're crazy, bro. Thank you, dude. Sends another ten bucks. Appreciate you, man. Holy crap. Uh, do you still sell Yankees Avenue merch? I had two hoodies, but they are too small now. Um, yeah, I sell. I don't have any like actual Yankees Avenue like with the logo Yankees Avenue in the store anymore. But um, I do sell like I have some Juan Soto stuff on there. I probably gotta update my store soon. So like yeah, my my store does still exist. I want to update it soon. Um, yo, hit me up on Twitter, bro. I'll just send you something. Supporting this much, I got you. Uh, hit me up on Twitter. If you got a Twitter at Dan on Work, just uh, send me a DM and I'll uh, I'll send you something on the house. Just refreshing my feed real quick. Um, watching from Holland. Appreciate the content. Hell yeah, Anton. Holland. Where is Holland? Sorry, I'm like horrible when it comes to geography. I, I assume that's some sort of a foreign country. Um, Xenia says, "Hey Dan, can you indicate when you see the first pitch so we can sync up our streams?" Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I will let you know, which should be any minute now. There we go. Got this stream up. Cool, cool, cool. Got my other stream up. All right, we got five and a third for Heal, three runs. I'll take it. I, I really hope Heal can get through six today. I mean, that would still be a, a pretty damn good start, um, you know, for our number five guy. But if he can, if Heal can get us through six, which if he does, that would be him stepping up. Like, you can't necessarily expect that um, from your five guy, especially coming off Tommy John. But if Heal can get us through six, holy crap, would the Yankees appreciate that. <laughs> Calling it nine straight home runs to start the game. I'll take it, bro. I'll take it. Chris Woods says, love your highlights, Dan. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I love making them, dude. I love making them. That's like the routine of this is dope. It's like I get to watch the game with you guys. We're kicking it for a few hours. And then once this shit's over, ideally after a Yankees win, then I get to make highlights. Like last night was like I was kicking it hard last night, yo. Highlight videos when they have like an offensive explosion is insane. Sean, are you rich or something, bro? What the heck? Bro. Sent in another 10 bucks. Does IG work? I don't have Twitter. Yes. You don't have to send in any more money, bro. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Instagram, yeah. Uh, Dan Allen Work. D-A-N-A-L-A-N-R-O-U-R-K-E. Hit me up on Instagram. I got you. Right after the game. I promise. You have my word. And let me know what you want to. Or I'll, I'll, we'll talk over DM. All right. Here we go. You know what was really nice the other day, by the way? IKF getting a, a nice little ovation from the crowd in the home opener. There was an article in the, uh, in the Athletic or the Post this morning. Let's go, Heel. Heel's getting warmed up. Um, and Icaf was basically just saying how he appreciated it and uh, that um, it felt like closure on his Yankee tenure. So, good for him. All right, one sec, chat. Let me, uh, I'm going to get the box score up here from ESPN, which should be up now. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Watch party. All right, Heel is about to get going here. Looks like he's about to throw his first pitch. Yeah, I'll turn it up real quick so you guys can hear while I get my box score up. But yeah, so for those who are just joining, I fixed like the latency on these streams, so we should be a little bit better in terms of like live time from, ooh, heel up and in. <laughs> Dude, heel just threw a 95 mile an hour, I guess it's a change up, but almost at a, yeah, right at Springer's head almost. All right, let me get this up here. All right, one and one, nice. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, another thing about the game yesterday and today too, like the energy in the stadium is insane. Inside, so we got a, I got a two one on Springer right now. Let's see. Yep. And those are changeups that Heels throwing. At least according to the, uh, the yes uh, score bug. At a boy, ground ball foul. All right, let me just get the box score up here, and then we will be officially locked in and chilling. Box score. Got a 2-2 on Springer. High fly ball, popped him up. That ain't nothing. Verdugo drifting over. Volpe's far out. Verdugo's got it. Nice. One dead. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Boom, boom, boom. One sec. All right. 
And here is Vlad. I still can't believe that shit yesterday, man. And again, I know he does it all the time, but he shouldn't. You're down eight to three, or eight to two, whatever it was, and Vlad's shushing the crowd. Like that shit's so, so stupid. There we go, we chilling? Let's go, all right. Let's go chat. Let's go chat, here we go. Here we go, all right. Got a 1-0 on, uh, on Vlad. Nice pitch, one and one. Honestly, not that nice of a pitch. It was a hanging slider, but swung through it, so it was a nice pitch. Mm. Nice. Oh, that's sick. You hear that? They uh, they gave um Don Mattingly a uh, they gave Don Mattingly a uh, roll call chain. That's sick. <laughs> Little Johnson says, "No way, Dan Speed is ahead of mine." Hell yeah, bro. Let's go. And the reason I say this because uh, Bolo, um, my feed was delayed. I was watching, looking at my settings before, and I had like a, I think a one minute delayed timer on my live feed, like me to your guys' feed. Which I fixed, so I should definitely be a little more in sync with the actual game. Swing and a miss, let's go. What a nasty changeup, bro. Holy crap. That was like a circle change. Bro, heel is nasty, man. Nasty. Facts. What a changeup. Gross. Yeah, that's a circle change. Dude, heel is so fucking good, bro. Damn, I need another coffee, man. I made it to DoorDash like a decaf. Mm. Let's go, heel. Two dead. Ball out. Heel throws gas. Hell yeah. Is that a USA glove uh, behind you? Yep. Look at this. A2K. Or A2000. Excuse me. Um, it's honestly not all that broken in. But uh, there's a 1-0 on Bichette. Ball away. Um, what's it called? I used to like, I don't want to say collect A2000s. But I had like a good, I had like three A2000s. And I like to like buy and sell them online when I was in high school. Which is pretty stupid because I wasn't even that good of a player. But I liked them. Grounded foul. And then, uh, anyways, once I kind of retired from high school baseball, I sold pretty much all of them besides one. And that one that I didn't sell got stolen out of my car last year in Hoboken. Can you believe it? And uh, once that happened, I was like, you know what? I do need at least one glove, even though I don't play anymore. It's nice to just, you got to have a baseball glove. So, uh, got this one. And, like, as you can see, it's not all that broken in, even with two in the pink. But, yeah. 2-1. Um, 2-1. Two one. Two one. Let's go, heel. Nice, dude. That's a nasty pitch, bro. That's nasty. What are you talking about, Jason Lopez? I doubt my dad said that. My dad would honestly, he probably would say, I'm like, I have untapped talent. I could have been in the big leagues. <laughs> oh, man, that fastball. He's painting. Full count. Let's go, heel. Let's go, heel. Facts, Nicholas. Vladdy silence in the crowd was so stupid. No, I know. Yo, Wells' catcher's gear is freaking nice. The navy with the pinstripes. Ah, oh, not a bad pitch. But first walk for heel. Dan, don't got the makings of a varsity athlete. You don't know that, but you're right. <laughs> you're not wrong. Facts. Me too, JB. Love Wells catching. Yo, Aaron Boone's really got a look about him this year. With the uh, like the the hat kind of just sitting on his head. The, uh, what are those, aviator sunglasses? Like, he looks like an old-timey, uh, baseball manager. I love it. Let's go, heel. Bro, Kirk has, has some figure, man. Alejandro Kirk, he kind of gives me vibes of, like, when you have a very, like, disproportionate, like, road to the show character in MLB. But I, I, no need for me to be rude, I guess. Let's go, heel. One and one. I still have to watch past Dan. My totally legit streaming service is like a minute 30 behind. Or and you could probably just uh like rewind on my stream by like a minute and a half then. I got a 1-1 one, one on heel. Or on Kirk. Pitch clock, pitch clock. That was over. Versus uh, them tomorrow for the Marlins, so Trevino will play that. Yes. Come on, heel. Couple weeks. Uh, Atta boy. 
One, two. I was hyped seeing Judge Stanton and Rizzo hitting bombs last night. Me too, man. Especially Stanton. Especially Stanton. I love that Kirk is so fat and slow. He's an easy out running to second every time. Bro, talk about an easy out running to second. I can't. I still can't believe Vogel back. Like, I know he's a big dude and he's slow as shit. The fact that he was out on that play in the hole yesterday where Volpe was able to flip it over to second. Like, it was crazy, man. Like, the dude can kind of hit nukes sometimes, but, like, you're not even really a baseball player if you can't beat that shit out. But nah, Kirk too. Let's go heel. That's two now that he's thrown over to, to first. Yeah, let's go heel. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Come on. It's called time. 20 pitches already. Yeah, not ideal. Not horrible either, but... That at bat to Bichette kind of killed him. The walk, obviously, but just how how many pitches he threw. Let's go, heel. Grounded to third. Let's go, Waldo. Get one. Nice and easy. And a boy. All right, scoreless first for heel. Good shit. Good shit. And that was what? So 21 pitches. Not terrible. Not terrible. Not ideal. Not amazing. But also not not bad by any means. Word, school is first for heel, let's go. And then, uh, of course, top of the lineup coming up, Torres, Soto, Judge. Bro, first inning homer would go fucking hard right now. Tom A says, Vogie looks a little slimmer this year. Maybe it's in the uniforms, but he looked like Frank the Tank in the Mets uniform last year. I don't know, man. He still looks pretty uh, pretty chunky to me, but maybe he did lose a few pounds. I don't know. Um, Yosho number nine says, can you shout me out? Yo, shout out to you, Yosho. What's up? Um, Joshua Star 77 your thoughts on the Rangers? Uh, I assume you mean the New York Rangers. Honestly, I don't really watch hockey all that much. I respect the shit out of the sport. It's just... I'm baseball, then football. I'm a Jets fan, and that's honestly kind of it for me. And then I'll follow the Knicks, like, the storylines and shit, like on the radio and, like, the Michael K show and whatnot. But <laughs> uh, this Soto Dinger will solve world, world hunger. I love it. I love it. Honestly, dude, like, I really want... I want a, a, a Stanton homer again. Like, the at-bats I'm most excited about today is Stanton. Let's see, does this, uh, I have the pitch on this guy's thing. Does it show how fast he throws? No. I would love to see Stanton turn on a fastball for a homer today. Who's my favorite player? Aaron Judge. Always. Always Aaron Judge. And then behind him, I did like a top, top five ranking the other day, but I would say Judge, Cole, big fan of Clay Holmes, Anthony Volpe, love Stanton, obviously Soto, but that's kind of like the obvious answer, and he's still pretty new. <clears throat> Excuse me. Love Glaber. Honestly, I love like almost all of them. There's not a Yankee in this team that I don't like. SPMBP11 says, Stanton getting hot for real would be insane. Dude, I know. I know, man. And we know how he operates, bro. We know how he operates. Home runs in bunches, hot streaks, and after a three-hit day yesterday with how good he looked at the plate, you can kind of uh, you can kind of see a potential one of those streaks coming. Let's see. You the man, Dan? Thanks, Peter. You're the man. <laughs> that was so cute, those kids. <laughs> no comment, man. No comment. Honestly, hey, shout out to the kids at all. That actually has always been one of my pet peeves. I don't like those kids reading out the lineup, but that's just me being an old man. Get off my lawn, I guess. I hate kids. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, here we go. Let's go, Glabes. First pitch of the AB. Here we go. Curveball outside. You got a nice movement on that curve. Only 74 miles an hour, that thing. So far this year, oh. Torres has seen a neck ache. Let's go, Glaves. So a little high, but all right. 1-1. One, one. Yo, look at this guy's pants. That's like straight out of the 90s. And you'll see the tight pants these days, like in baseball again, but like... There's only he has like a nice like three or four inch lift off those, or gap between sock and shoe. Let's go, Glaves. One two. Line foul. Hey Dan, did you see Alec Manoa got destroyed in a single A game? Gave up six earned runs recently? Or are you talking about from last year? J Station was that like this year? That's insane if he did. Of course, his speed just paused. No way. 
Now, if you want to talk about my least favorite player in baseball, it's probably him. Probably him. Either him or uh, Ronald Guzman, who, for those who remember, was a Yankee a couple years ago, made his debut, and in a big spot, like, did not run out a double play ball in his Yankee debut, and I've hated him ever since. But no, in all seriousness, uh, Al Pino is probably my least favorite player in baseball. Let's go, Glaves. Good eye. Just refreshing my feed over here. Happened today? Holy crap, bro. That's insane. Man, he really... Karma's a bitch, man. Karma is a bitch. That's who you get. Poor guy. Poor Alec Manoa. 2-2 two -two on Glaives. Popped him up. Out of play. He rehabbed into the knee and got rocked. That's crazy. Oh, that's right. That guy says Ronald Guzman is actually trying to become a, a pitcher. Yep, I heard about that. Nice. Come on, feed. Let's go, Glaves. Heads up. Three and two. Full count on Glaves. Three, two. Heads up. What the hell? What was that? Yo, what? Yeah, nuh uh. Watch this. We gotta see a replay. No, no way. Yeah, blue blue nose. That first base up nose. Yeah, no shot, bro. No shot. Dude, Glaber's pissed. Yeah, what is that? Yo, no shot. No shot. What do we got here? We got to figure this out, bro. And that would just be a walk. They're going to have to, dude. They're going to have to. That was blatant as hell. Review it if you have to. Bro, Boone's going to blow up if they don't overturn this. He's going to fucking blow up. Glaber's pissed, bro. Of course, it's fucking Angel Hernandez behind the home plate. Or not a balk. I'm sorry. A, like a violation or whatever. Not a balk. Jesus Christ, bro. Holy crap. So I guess there's nothing they can do. Nothing they can do. That's so annoying, bro. Oh, all right. Here's Soto. That's bullshit, man. And of course, Angel Hernandez is behind home plate, so. Now I really want to fucking unload on this Francis, dude. Come on, Soto. 2-0. Bro, that shit was crazy. He literally stepped off. Are they saying F you, Angel? That would be amazing. All right, come on, Soto. That's the most in the majors. He has 46 in his career, the most in the majors during that time. So if this guy does not get into the proverbial yeah. hole of the plate. Get ready, bro. We're probably about to have a day with Angel behind the plate. Looking back, Mike, when I, I kept talking to you about it yesterday, 0-2 against Gosman. He was taking split fingers just off the plate. One of the best at bats of the night, and it ended up in a walk. I'm surprised right? Boone didn't oh, bug out on that, to be honest. Hit a, hit a home run the next pitch, but it, it, it's amazing, uh, you know, to be that patient with two strikes. Any other umpire would have called that shit. They always call that. When you don't make like eye contact and you don't come uh, set. In this case, this dude really like stepped off and then threw it. Like what? Whatever. <laughs> Angel already doing a good job. Dude, I'm actually seeing red. I'm so mad. No, I feel you, dude. Especially the fact that like... Uh, swing and miss. That like there's just apparently nothing they can do about it. Either that or there is something they can do about it and for some reason they just didn't see it. Uh, 
All right, two dead. Let's go, Judge. Come on, Judge. Oh, he's about to tie Jeter then if he... Uh, his next uh, homer would tie Jeter. 260. Look at that, 812 OPS. Yeah, Angel be an Angel. Let's go, Judge. A little outside, Angel, a little outside. We got 1-1. One, one. Mmm. Just gonna miss one, two. This guy ain't throwing all that hard, like 93, that was. On the Yankee captain. Mm hmm. He did just miss that. Good eye. Two and two as Judge takes Man, bro, Aaron Hernandez, you really never know what's gonna happen. Like, you gotta hold your breath on a, a pitch that's an obvious ball because you don't know if he's gonna call a strike or not. I also hate his strike call too. Like he does like the out, not the. I like a one of those a little gunpoint. Oh fuck! Judge could have crushed that shit, but all right. Well, not a great first inning. Some tomfoolery bullshit involved, but all right. On to the second. On to the second. What happened with Soto? He struck out. All good. What happened with Glaber's not all good, but whatever. Um, the Yankees can never beat Angel Hernandez. Uh, Christopher Woodson, they should give the batter a ball if no one's on it. The pitcher does a balk move. Well, they do, yeah. It's like a pitch violation, which in that case would have been a ball, and then Glaber should have taken first, but of course the umpires missed it. I really thought, I mean, you're not surprised by Angel Hernandez missing a call like that or missing a, a situation like that. I would have at least figured once the first base umpire was calling everybody together, I thought he saw something. Apparently not. I'm curious to see what, what when Boone's asked about that later, what the actual explanation was. If like it was something where like they can't overturn it or some stupid shit has to be called like in the moment. I don't know. Because how how did you not how, how do you not see that? <laughs> AJC says, Dan, is there any chance Boone doesn't get ejected this game? I do feel like we might be in for something, some sort of drama involving Andrew Hernandez. Although I thought I just said, like, if they didn't overturn that shit with Glaber, I thought Boone was gonna get tossed or bug out. He he didn't. So I'm curious once again what the what the explanation was, but wouldn't be shocked. Okay, so there was a central ball call with no runners on. Yeah, whatever it's called. Ball strike calls are not reviewable. No, I know, but that wouldn't even be like that's not even a ball strike call though, you know what I mean? That was like a like dispute on a possible pitch violation. Which whether you want we want to call it a balk or whatever the hell. Um yeah, uh, What Is Life says, Yo, Dan, just started watching. Why are we upset? Um, so it was a 3-2 a count on Glaber, and the Blue Jays pitcher, he, like, didn't come to a full set. He was, I don't think he made eye contact with Glaber, and as he was about to pitch the ball, he, like, stepped off. So Glaber backed out and was like, yo, what the hell? Pitcher threw the ball. It was a strike, and Glaber was like, yo, what the hell is going on here? And uh, Boone came out. Glaber was pissed. They didn't overturn it, although, they, you know, they should have. Um... We'll have to see what the explanation was. But, you know, the dude literally, like, he, like, stepped off and then threw it. It was weird. Like, he was doing some weird shit. And I think part of it was he never made eye contact with Glaber, which you, you got to do. And they always call that, too. If that's what it was, then it's really bullshit. Because they always call, like, the... How many times have we seen this season where they'll, like, they'll stop a pitch and be like, you got to make got to make eye contact. You know? Well, it was a ball called a strike. Shit wasn't even a strike. Eh. Honestly, it is a shame, too, because like, if Glaber was like ready to go there and didn't get screwed over, he probably could have crushed that pitch because that was a hanging breaking ball. Let's go, heel. MLB has to fire Angel. Yeah, well, then Angel Hernandez will just uh, he'll claim racism like he, do, he always does. Remember that when Angel Hernandez, like, he didn't get any playoff starts? as a umpire and he like called MLB racist for it or some shit it's like no bro it's just cause you're a fucking horrible umpire the worst in the league everybody knows it there it is they just showed the replay that was probably a strike the pitch itself didn't look that bad oh well Paul O'Neill disagrees he says it was a ball so I'll take his word for it ground ball right side Rizzo bro can Rizzo ever just Rizzo never takes it himself 
never takes it himself. I know. He literally stepped off the mound. It's crazy. Laz Diaz is pretty bad, too. Laz Diaz is pretty bad. Man, I need, like, something good to drink. I would love a nice Coke right now or something. Like an ice-cold Coca-Cola. How accurate do you think these strike boxes are? I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't think they change based on the batter, do they? I know MLB at bats don't, which makes theirs a little bit flawed. But with that said, I do like having the zone. Nice pitch. The thing is, is that like the zone is always, I feel like, bigger than the actual box. Oftentimes, a lot of umpires, especially the guy we got today and then some, will call like a ball's worth off the plate. And this zone like doesn't account for it. It's very like by the book definition of plate is the width and then knees to chest is the height. Which is how they should do it. And again, I like having the box, but it definitely, like, you kind of got to take it with a grain of salt sometimes. 3-1. Dan, put Coke and ice in a blender. Coke and ice. So, like, a slushy? I mean, that would be good. Only thing with slushies, though, they, they kind of, like, once it melts, it's not a very, like, long-lasting thirst quencher. Whereas you just get a nice, large Coke with ice. Edible heel. Um, that shit's delicious. The Joe West days were so funny. I kind of miss the Joe West days. At least he was funny. Angel Hernandez is just insufferable. Swing and a miss. Let's go, heel. Let's go. Let's go, Yankees. Time to shush Vlad and Co. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Yep. Dan, have you tried Coca-Cola spiced raspberry? No, I haven't, but I've seen it. Despite, when I see like a spiced uh, flavor thing, I, I associate that with like, is it like the cinnamon? Is it like I like the, the Christmas cinnamon candy vibe? You know what I mean? I usually just go regular old like Coke Zero, which is probably what I might have DoorDashed here. Um, but no, I'll probably try it at some point. Cristiano says, hey Dan, can we all agree that Vlad being on the cover MLB was a clown move? 100%, dude. I talked about this a lot yesterday, dude. One, I'll just go over it again real quick. One, he did not have a good year. Literally a sub, Andrew OPS. Has been regressing ever since his MVP caliber year in 2021. Which was MVP caliber. Like, he was really good. Ever since then, though, he's been regressing. And you can't even, I don't think, use the excuse of like, oh, well, he's like an electric Dominican player. So, like, it's about marketability. I understand that sentiment, but... I do not consider Vlad electric at all. I think out of every, like, Dominican star in baseball, he's probably the most boring. Vlad is not, like, electric at all. Like, he's so... I think he's actually quite vanilla, to be honest with you. So, yes, I agree, Crescendo. Does anyone remember the Flaming Hot Mountain Dew? I remember the commercials. I don't remember, uh... Um... I don't remember, uh... I don't think I ever tasted it. Um, Sean D says, You should stream the Yankees franchise again. That was a vibe. Bro, you're an OG then, man. That goes way back to, like, uh, the COVID years. Or COVID year. Um, that was a fun time. That was a fun time. But the only thing with that is, like, when I am playing MLB, that's usually my time where I'm just, like, straight up kicking it. And a lot of times I'm in a place where I uh, I can't exactly be uh, streaming, if you know what I mean. Big Picture Guy says, Vlad Jr. is such a joke. One great season and a massive entitlement problem. 100%, dude. 100%. Volpe, 2K25 cover. I assume you mean MLB the show. But uh, I think if Soto resigns, there's a good, a good chance it's Soto. As a Yankee. Judge again would be cool. But they don't really do... Uh, they haven't done any repeat covers since doing uh, Mauer back-to-back. -back. Don't want the cover curse. Eh, that's fair. But the cover curse, I don't know. I mean, Judge was on the cover and... I mean, depending how you look at it. Well, it depends. Like, does the cover curse a player's production and then they regress? Because that wasn't the case with Judge. But I guess you could make the argument that... The year he went on the cover, MLB 18, that's the season he broke his wrist on the fastball from Jacob Junis. Now let's see, what else is there? There was, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you want to call us a curse because he's another guy that probably shouldn't have been on there. But like Javi Baez, ever since he was on the cover, boy, did he fall off. But Javi Baez, at least like, see, he is electric. When he was good, Javi Baez, you could at least give me the marketability argument. Not with Vlad. What do you mean you can't stream? Are you talking to me? Oh, it's usually I, I, when I play an MLB, I'm kind of a... I usually just like pop in a gummy or something, so I'm kind of a melting. <laughs> Dan, what players' numbers in the current Yankees are likely to get retired? I would say Judge, Cole, and maybe Stan. Stan, I would say there was a chance a couple years ago with how good he was in the postseason. Um, only way I see that happening now is he like really, really bounces back and then like leads into a World Series. Um, 
or like maybe somehow gets to like 600 home runs, which at this point he probably won't. He'll get to 500, but not 600. Um, judging Cole though, for sure. Judging Cole for sure. All right, here we go. Let's go, Riz. Yeah, I'm gonna do it as a coke or something. Watch that Rizzo homer again, real quick. This shit was nice. This shit was nice. Classic Rizzo, keeping a ball that's not even a strike in the inner part of the zone, keeping it fair. That was nice. That was nice, chat. All right, here we go. 0-2. Freaking yes network asking me if I wanna if I want polls throughout the game and crap. No. O2. Ball out. Yeah, he looked like one of the best pitchers in baseball, then it just it fell apart. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're talking about Manoa now. Now we've had stories about <laughs> Yeah, right. Roy GK Dubsky, hundred dollars for delivery and service fees. No, I know. If I were to do it as a coke, I'd probably get like some food with it too. Ooh, that plunked him. Atta boy. Lead off hit by pitch for Rizzo. And here's the man of the hour, man of the weekend, Giancarlo Stanton. Dan, we need a 2024 walk-up song video. What do you mean? Like a compilation of all the Yankees' uh, walk-up songs? Oh, hell yeah. XXSE7EN, Sin SXX, sends in five bucks. Appreciate you, bro. Says Volpe needs to be in the top of the lineup. I agree with you at some point, bro. I think we'll get there eventually. Maybe not just yet, because you don't want to put too much pressure on him, but uh, real quick, this is... um. That's the lineup that I, if Bopey does lead off, this would be dope. Move Glaber down to the five hole. You can even have Stanton in the seven hole unless he really turns it around, which, hey, after yesterday, maybe he is. Oh. Let me refresh my feed. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Let's go, Stanton. Oh, one. Ball in. Nope, he did not. And Michael, I had a little bit in the clubhouse after the game. Aaron Judge joking a little bit. Why don't you hit a little further to right field? We won't have to wait for that review. He's Giancarlo <laughs> Stanton in the dugout. We know he's capable. Come on, Stanton. Atta boy, good eye. The porch is there for a reason. Man. Two one. They all count the same, Paul. Exactly. Come on, MLB TV. You're fucking screwing me here. Here we go, Stan. Come on. 2 1. Steps out. Well, it's a step off there, Michael, but he didn't get right back on the rubber and throw strike three. Yeah, that's a real <laughs> extended step off. 2 1. Dude, MLB TV screwing me. Ooh. Actually, a pretty nice curveball. Yeah. They're showing the replay of the homer now. Two two. Good eye. Three and two on Stanton. Hey yo. Alright, three two on Stanton. Here we go. Oh, God damn it. Stan could have crushed that shit. That was a strike. All good. All good. Uh, Phil Min, former 84, says, Dan, have you toured Monument Park? I have, a few times. And then I just did the other day when I was at uh, the home opener. All right, let's go over Dukes. Pops him up. Verdugo has hit a lot of soft fly balls so far this year. All right, let's go, Volt. Ooh, that this guy's not. Oh, this guy right here has had great at bats from opening day on. Let's go, Volt. Come on, kid. Solid. 
Doogie's still way over anxious. Yeah, something. Definitely something. All right, got an 0-1 on Volt. Ah, good swing. Good swing. I'm kind of feeling a Volpe opposite field homer today. Volpe's one of the rare uh, rare guys that I enjoy his oppo homers probably more than when he pulls them. Honestly, Stan's oppo homers are, are nice too, especially when he crushes it. Like Stan oppo homers into the second deck, forget about it. Forget about it. Just feel like you'll sneak a couple fastballs by him. Do do. Do 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 O2 on Volpe. Here we go. No, did not go. Good take. That's a really good, really good check there. Yep. I gotta agree with that one though. All right, one two on Volpe. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, man, that curveball is nice. That is a nice curveball. That shit drops. That shit fucking falls off the table. All right, chat, we are through two. We are through two. Let me just, while I'm here, just refresh my shit anyways. Excuse me. Um, Your opinion on LCS game five when Abreu plunked Garcia and a brawl started? Oh, man, I got to kind of remember what happened there. I mean, you know I wasn't on Houston's side. <laughs> That's my answer. Sean D says, have you ever sat in the Legends Club? Was thinking of buying seats there this year. I, Legends, have I sat in Legends? No, I sat in, I sat in this one suite a few years ago, and it was pretty dope. It had like, you know, like the all-you-can-eat thing. Um, obviously, like, it was like a, kind of like a box. That was dope. But I've never sat in a Legends suite. But it was kind of like a, I don't know, like hybrid suite. It was pretty cool, though. <laughs> Is Alec Manet, Manoa an edger or a gooner? Honestly... I'm like pretty caught up on trends for the most part. I still don't know like, what does edging mean? Like, does it mean freaking like wanking it or like what is that? Tom A says legends are amazing. Worth it. You can get a ticket for two fifty and under. Yeah, I'll probably check it in there at some point because I have heard good things. Although I really like being in the crowd. Although it'd probably be nice to like go to Yankee Stadium for once and like not lose my voice. I was at the opener too. Audi Suite, nice. I think that may have been what I did was the Audi Suite. Those are dope. Black Rose says, hey, Dan, yeah, Coke Zero, too good. What MLB team would be a threat to the Yankees? Yo, until we beat them in the playoffs, always the Astros. Which yesterday I said, I'm sure some of you guys would disagree, I want to face Houston in the playoffs. Give me Yankees-Astros, ALCS rematch, and let's complete this error by getting past them in the playoffs. The judge error will not feel complete until, until we get past Houston in the ALCS. <laughs> Dan, no. <laughs> I know, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're saying about the Astros ALCS thing or the uh, questioning what edging means. All right, let's go heal. What's heal's pitch count? That was a pretty quick inning last time out, right? Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, is that what that means? Yo, let's go. The super chats are firing in today. One sec. Um, first pitch strike. Um. XXSC7EN Sin SXX sends in five bucks. Thank you, bro. Says in the future, Luis Hill would make a great closer. Ah, uh, yo, I mean, I was talking about it before. Like, his stuff definitely would translate well out of the bullpen. Ideally, you do keep him in the rotation because he definitely can be a really good starter. But I said it before if the Yankees need, if the Yankees need bullpen help, nice. Good change up, bro. That change is looking good today. Um, I would not be shocked if they call up Will Warren, Clayton Beater. Put them in the rotation, and then you could have heel pitch out of the ball because he would just be nasty, hundred percent. But for now, loving him in the rotation, loving him. Strikes out IKF, one dead. Let's go heel. Yeah, I need something to drink. I need something to drink. Let's just check out the DoorDash options. Let's see if there's any good deals. Listening intently to your pregame report. Well, I thank you for that. And uh, I heard that uh, the cat, Don Mattingly, 
What are you guys having for lunch today? Give me some ideas. Nice. Dude, he was painting that fastball. I loved his intensity as a teammate, but he did not think fondly of that first pitch. Nice, dude. Look at that. 97 on the black. Let's go. Fuck yes. How many K's is that now for heel? Three? Four? Hell yes. Let's go. Let's go, heel. Nasty. Quarter... Quarter pounder, large fry, Dr. Pep, nice. Frozen Chinese food, pizza, PB and J. Yo, PB and J's are fire. PB and J's will hit till the end of time. Actually, it's funny because I was never a big like jelly guy. I love peanut butter, but I wouldn't always put jelly on my peanut butter sandwiches. Out of nowhere, last year I just got the itch to do so, and like, delicious, absolutely delicious. I had a egg and sausage bagel sandwich. Oh, nice. Nice. Dude, Sean, you're crazy, bro. Holy crap. Since then, another five bucks. I got to head out. Family over. I'll talk to you later or something. Hoping for a W. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, dude. And thank you for uh, so much for all the support today. Remember, I got you on that uh, Yanks Ave merch. I'll uh, hit you up after the game on, on DM. Thank you, bro. I'm a jam, man. Yeah, I guess they are technically different, right? Jelly and jam. All right. Single four. What was that? Springer. And here's Vlad. Oh, blue. That's a strike. That's a strike. Mm. Wow. Get Donald's. I don't, I don't even need food. I just I really want a freaking Coke right now, dude. The Diet Coke would hit like crack. Ground ball left side foul. Turkey sandwich with pepperoni slices and salami toast bread. That sounds good, man. That sounds good. Today's one of those days where like water is just not what I wants for a drink. Like, I want a fat freaking Diet Coke right now. Maybe if my dad's watching this, he can go get me a Diet Coke. Oh, hell yeah. Sam Sim says, will you do playoff watch parties? 100%, bro. Holy crap. And bro, you thought I was tipsy on opening day. <laughs> Just wait till the freaking ALDS. And then ALCS and then World Series. Oh, Vlad gets plunked. Vlad gets plunked on a changeup. 88 mile an hour changeup. Remember, A-Rod broke his hand on an 88-mile-an-hour change from Felix Hernandez, 2012. Made me cry. Cry myself to sleep that night. Looks like Vlad's all right, though. Yeah, that's what you get. Shh, stop crying. Shh, cry, baby. Shh. Hush now, my crying angel. Hush now, Vladdy Jr. Oh, got him on the forearm. You're fine, for Christ's sakes. Stop crying. Everybody tell Vlad to shush. Shh. You're okay. Shh. Shh. Loser. All right. Big spot here. Heel versus Bo, which you walked him last time. Yo, remember, Yankee Way, Andy Martino, dope-ass book, inside story of the Brian Cashman era. Link in bio. Pre-order. I'm two, no, three chapters in after last night now. And let me tell you, it is the untold story of the Brian Cashman era. This shit's dope. For those who have read the Inside the Empire book by Bob Clappish, similar vibes as that. Like you really get some fall away, some uh, a lot of info that you just had no idea about before reading. Listen to Cry Baby Vlad. Give me a break. Yo, I will be seeing Godzilla vs. Kong later if the Yankees win. Play talking to heel. Let's go heel. Come on, bear down now. Just let your stuff do the talking. We're good. We are good. Maybe I'll entice my father with offering him to get him a meal from McDonald's if he were to pick it up and just get me a Coke. And I'll get him a milkshake too. That's a good deal, right? Good trade-off. Let's go, heel. Who's pitching for the Jays? It's uh, this guy. Uh, yeah, Bowden Francis, who got rocked in his first start against the Astros, which that was the Astros' first game after we shut him down pretty much the whole series. They, uh, went crazy off of him. XX, you're crazy, dude. One sec. Popped him up, foul. XX, SE7, EN, Sin, SXX says, sent him five bucks. Thank you so much. My dream lineup, Volpe, Dominguez, Soto, Judge, Spencer. I don't think we're that far off, bro. I do not think we're that far off. Dan, you're just like Jake talking about ordering food for multiple innings. Oh, really? Fucking love Jake. Jake is the man. Assuming you're talking about talking Jake. 
Anthony Ensley, what up, bro? Yes, you can get a shout out. How you doing, man? Let's go, Yanks. Yeah, facts. He'll definitely is not a comfortable at bat. Gotta get out of this, though. This is a big AB. Just very quickly could get scary. Ooh, nice. Let's go, Angel. Let's go, Angel. It was a good pitch. It just probably was a ball. All right, Death Star Sirens. Here we go. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Steps off. Every Yankee game, I debate ordering food, El Mayo. Yeah, dude, 100%. Especially, like, like right now, like, I'm, like, obviously, I'm locked into my seat. So, like, I ain't getting up to go get food. So, it's either getting delivered to me or I'm going to starve. Let's go. 2-2. Two, two. That was outside. Heel, that was outside, bro. You're good. That was outside. Good pitch, but it was outside. Yo, chat, drop a like in this uh, on the stream if uh, Luis Heel's going to get out of this. Oh, this is actually really nerve-wracking. Full count. Let's go. Come on, Heel. Uh, you missed, dude. You missed. It's fine. Yeah, those are those are balls. He was kind of bugging, man. Yo, Moon Mist, I'm with you, dude. I'm very often with you, unless it's Moon Mist says. To be honest, I hate seeing players complain about ball strikes, especially for pitchers. Pitchers, it bothers me. I, I had a lot of uh, issues with um, and here's bases juice for Kirk. I had a big problem with Clark last year. I cannot stand the body language of pitchers. Sometimes, a lot of times, when they they don't get a call they want. Even when it is borderline, which to be honest, like those pitches that healed us through those last two, those are clearly balls. Um, let's go, heal. Come on. Ah, come on. Find it. Um, I'm with you, dude. I hate when they like slump their shoulders and like, oh, come on. Like, it's Here's Rizzo talking to heal. It's like, bro, you should be confident enough that you can get out of this no matter what. You don't need any help. I love this little mound visit right now. Come on, heal. You're the guy. Let's go. Yeah, they call for me. Well, Rizzo just walked. He, did, he took it himself, which does count as a mound visit. Come on, heel. What do you think you'd say to Angel Hernandez if you met him at a coffee shop? I'd say, hi, pleasure to meet you. Oh, so you're going to tell Heal that he has to make eye contact with the batter. Huh. And yes, does adjust the strike zone box, uh, box per batter because it's very condensed on Kirk. Ah. Yeah, I'm surprised with the change up there. All right, 3-0. This is not good. Slid it all with the fastball. Bro, this umpire is so, Angel is so annoying, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Angel being a dickhead. Come on, heel. And heel ain't going to get any borderline call. There you go. There you go. God damn. Facts. Facts, Concakes. Angel's going to flex his muscle since he's big time him. Yep. Angel sucks. <laughs> Come on, heel. Come on, heel. Let's go. One zero. Bro, he's not getting him anything, man. Not giving him anything. He already has 62 pitches, so yeah, he he's not getting through the sixth. Maybe he's not even the fifth strike. There we go. All right, 2-1. Come on, heel. Let's get out of this. One run is no problem. We're going to win. We had to score one anyway. Let's go. God damn it. If 
you walk from here, I mean, you're going to have to get somebody up. Cause... All right, dude, literally fast right down the middle. Pop them up. Oh, damn it, bro. I wish that shit stayed in play. Oh. I do not feel good about this. Not even in terms of them doing damage at the back. Like, I'm, I feel like Heal is going to throw it out of the zone here. Unless he just goes right back to the fastball. Pop them up again. He's probably going to go change up here. Probably going to go change up. Which you hope you get a swing and a miss on. Jake Cousins is up. Which Cousins, he can give them a little bit of length. He threw like 40-something pitches the other day in Arizona. 3-2. Three, two. Strike three, let's go. All right, hey, all things considered. All things considered. Be right back, gonna take a leak and make a pitch to my father about picking up McDonald's. I'll be right back. I'll got your question in a second, Michael. All right, yo, mission successful. Dan Rourke Sr. is gonna be picking up some McDonald's. Oh, they're kind of letting he'll know not to do that. Yeah, he'll. I mean, Angel Hernandez is a loser and he's annoying as hell. But he'll shouldn't be bucking out on those those pitches that weren't even. I don't even say they're borderline. They were two clear balls. Right, one sec. One sec, Chad. I'm just getting my. Uh, Oh, really? Oh, so Heel and Angel had a combo. Oh, here we go. God, Angel Hernandez has such a dickhead look about him, man. Wells pops it up. Hold on, I'll see what you guys are saying in just one moment. I want to get my... I had to refresh my MLB TV feed. There we go. All right. All right, what was that question before? Um... Ball up. Uh, Michael D said, Dan, have you ever thought about doing a fan meetup, maybe partner with John Boy Media? No, I haven't. I think we're a long ways away from that. I appreciate the idea of like you asking, but I mean, it sounds cool in theory, but that's, I don't know. I appreciate it though. Um, what did I get from McDonald's? Not sure. Not sure. What was an incredibly racist remark? Not anything I said. I just say he was a funky looking dude, or I looked like a dickhead. Um, I s you probably weren't talking to me though. Um, have not ordered the McDonald's yet. I have to order it through the app, and then Dan Rourke Sr. is going to pick it up, which is dope. <laughs> Yo, facts. 
Amongst the umpires, he's beloved. Literally means nothing, Michael, but okay. No, 100%. 100%. All right. So a 3 0 count on Oswaldo. And there's ball four. Nice. Good shit, Waldo. Four pitch wall. Now we got Todd. Let's score here. Let's score. Danny is the bizarro, Dan. And then that guy, Juan Soto on deck. Hmm. I don't know what I want from McDonald's. Chat, what should I get from McDonald's? I was going to get 10 piece meal, which I may have been, I might be going to eat that on stream, but I really, I want to drink. Badly want to die at Coke. So I'll have that for later. Let's go, Glaives. Strike. All right, we're doing a large 10 piece meal. Buffalo sauce. This is a good time and you can most importantly, a large Diet Coke. Yep, we're doing the 10 piece. Done. Swing and a miss. Damn it. Glaber has missed on a good amount of hittable pitches this year, it seems. Certainly a nice bounce back performance up to this point. My dad just wants a big man. And a milkshake. Let's go, Glaves. 0-2. Good eye. You know, Buck Martinez, I talked about him yesterday. Ex-catcher does the play-by-play -play for the Blue Jays. He told me a very interesting story about his start in Houston. He said, you know, this kid pitched in the minor leagues all down in the strike zone. Fastball, curveball. Apple pay. They wanted him to throw him up in the strike zone against Houston. No! For some reason. And it just what did I do? So almost a scouting report. I sent it to a McDonald's in a totally different town in Bayville. Why did I do that? No, chat. I sent it to the wrong one. I sent it to the wrong one. No. Why did I do that? Oh, that's just... I, I gotta take the L. I gotta take the L and order the whole thing again to the right one. That's terrible. I just totally lost 20 bucks. Fuck you, Angel. That was not a strike, man. Holy crap. I'm taking L's back to back to back. All right. We'll give that to the homeless man. That's terrible. That is just terrible. Oh. Right. God damn it. Can you believe I just did that, chat? I just ordered to the raw McDonald's. And it's not like it's close enough to where I can just go deal. Oh, and you can't you can't get a new order. Oh, dude, I want to. Oh, this is this is terrible. This is terrible. I don't think I can get a refund. Now that I'm not letting me... Oh, my God. Safe. <laughs> Vlad fell over. <laughs> Yo. Let's go. <laughs> Yo. Watch this shit. Yo, that's fucking great. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> What's the score? It's on the screen. It's a one nothing Jays. I mean, if I change my location, I can... I can't believe that happened. Uh. All right, I'm just going to order it through DoorDash to pick up. That meal can go to the homeless. A lot of it was through my McDonald's rewards anyway, so I mean, I'll just take the L. That's terrible. There's really nothing I can do, chat. Nothing I can do. So I'm not just being reckless with money right now. I'm just... Let's go, Soda. Come on. Two two. Rip to right field. That's trouble. Yep. All right. First and third. Runners in the corners. Two outs. Runners in the corners. Two outs for Judge. Yeah, what a beautiful swing. I mean, again, we talk about his weight, but watch the top hand this time, right through the 
Come on, Judge. Line drive to right field. Back foot hitter, but see the hand doesn't roll over until after he makes contact, and that's that's a lot of leverage that he uses in his legs. Michael, this is going to be a fun year just to break him down every single day because he is a great hitter. So here's Judge struck out looking in the first inning. First and third, two outs. Yankees down one nothing. The bottom of the third. Let's go, Judge. Heads up. I can watch it, punk. Fastball inside, one and zero. It's a sign to not order that trash. Ah, give me a break, bro. My metabolism can handle some McDonald's at this point in my life. I will be all right. Good eye. I don't want it delivered, though, bro. Well, one thing you can say about Angel, that, that pitch right there has been a ball all day. Uh, and that's the only thing you can ask for is a pitch. Oh, this is all. This is a shit show. Consistent. Good eye. It's outside 3 0 with Rizzo on deck. He gets the green light here, right? Absolutely. I, I think Aaron Judge uh, doesn't even look for a sign. He knows he has a. Uh, he might take a pitch, but he knows that. Let's go, Judge. 3 0. Bro, I want Judge to swing in here. He's probably not going to get shit, though, to hit. Duh, good eye. All right, base is juice for Rizzo. Base is juice. Come on, Riz. Come on, Riz. I'm glad we could be here for your first time trying to order DoorDash. No, I order DoorDash all the time, but I thought you could have it to where you could pick it up. I don't want it delivered. And McDonald's isn't letting me order another, put another order till like this one is complete, the messed up one, which is BS. Come on, Riz. Dan, not going to lie, the crowd last night at that game was electric. I was in the left field bleachers. It was great, dude. Absolutely. Absolutely. Crowd was amazing yesterday. And at the home opener. But being able to watch it on TV is something else, man. I'm sorry. I, I mean, going to the games is dope. Don't get me wrong. Like, I have a blast. Watching games at home is like my shit. Like, I, I, this is I love. Oh, come on, Riz. Base is juiced. The 1 0. Ooh. 1 1. Favorite non Yankee player? Probably Harper. A little low, but fine. Come on, Riz. Big spot now. Let's go. Oh. Good cut. All right, 1 2. 1 2. Yeah, it sucks. Which I, I might just do, if McDonald's doesn't let me order my second order, I might just do Burger King then. Heads up. Nice. 2-2. Two, two. Come on, Riz. Big spot here. Just get one in, please. Don't got to be a hero. Just give me a single. Choke up on the bat a little bit. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Here we go. The righty deals. Good fight. Dan, do you accept artwork from subs? Sure. Well, I didn't say Judge 62 Bobblehead. Uh, yeah, the, the 20th, they're doing that. It's a Judge Bobblehead afternoon. On the 20th, I think it is. Let's go, Riz. Come on. Rip to right field! God dang. Watching from France. Hell yeah, dude. Microtona says, Burger King is better, in my opinion. I 100% agree with you, dude. Burger King is fire. It's just the McDonald's is closer. Man, Riz is so close. Straighten that out. Yeah, I know. Honestly, that to me, I, that looks fair off the bat. I thought that shit was going you know, to like one hop into the stands for a ground rule. All right, here we go. 2-2 two -two again. Come on, Riz. Two, 
Good eye. Good AB. Come on. 3 2. How did you do with the earthquake uh, in New Jersey? I was actually at Port Authority at the time, heading to the home opener. And we didn't feel it. I was kind of bummed, actually, that I didn't feel it. Come on, Riz. Here we go. Base is juice. Let's go. Steps off because he's a bitch. And now we'll probably try to throw it by Rizzo. And the umpires won't care. Count full. Holy shit, bro. Yeah. Base is juice. Come on. This is a big spot. Big spot. I think he's down by one. Two outs. Full count. Base is juice. Good AB by Rizzo so far. He steps off again, bro. What are we doing? Let's go. Oh, Rizzo did. It's all good. <laughs> all good, folks. Come on, Riz. Be smart. I feel like there's no way he throws a fastball here. But maybe I'm wrong. Nope. Ball four. a boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Good AB, Riz. Hell yes. Let's go. Good AB. Good AB. Let's go, chat. All right, so we're all tied up. We are all tied up. And that brings up Stanton with the base's juice. The red hot Giancarlo Stanton. The now league average hitting Giancarlo Stanton. All right, so Rizzo ties it up with a walk. Oh, shit. Did I just draw airdrop to my computer? Oh, my God. Oh, wait, never mind. There we go. Come on, G. Out of the way. Getting this up on Yang Sev. Playing game as Rizzo walks in a run. Come on, Stanton. Good eye. Let's go, chat. Come on. One, two on Stanton. What do you got? Good eye. Good take. Huge take. All right. The Rizzo walk is up on Instagram and Facebook. Come on. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Let's go, Stanton. What do you say? One, one game. Come on. Stan looks good at the plate. Let's go. Give him a fastball. Turn on that shit. Ah. Out of play? Nice. All right. Stan's plate discipline is so much better. Yeah, he's had some... You know, all year he's actually had some nice take, takes on breaking balls. But it's almost like it's been like one step forward, two steps back. Because like the next pitch will look like an idiot. At least the first two series. But that was a nice take before. Good day yesterday. Three hits. Let's see what he does here. I didn't really see that first pitch, but it sounds like it was a, a ball called a strike. Here we go. 2-2. Two, two. Drill! Get out, ball! Get out, ball! Let's go! Let's go! Holy shit, was that crushed! Let's go, chat! Let's go! Let's go! Holy shit, bro. Now both my fucking... My, my feed just fucking crapped out. Holy crap. What a bomb! Let's go! Holy shit, bro. He fucking crushed that shit, bro. Oh my god! Holy shit! Let's go, Chad. Giancarlo saying Grand Slam. Yankees lead 5-1. to one. Holy crap, bro. You got to be kidding me. Is Giancarlo Stanton back? Is Giancarlo Stanton fucking back? Holy shit, was that smoked. God damn. Wait, what the hell? Let me get this up on Yanks Ave. Holy crap. That shit was fucking smoked. Boom, boom, boom. Giancarlo. Holy crap, chat. That was fucking smoked. Bro, is Giancarlo Stanton back? If Giancarlo hits a bomb. 
Giancarlo Stan is back, folks. I gotta get the egg. What's the egg? Do we have the exit velo and distance on that chat? Holy crap. Only 417, is that right? All right, finally I'm getting some Yanks out. I feel like I'm taking forever here. 110, exit below 417 feet, all right. Yo, that's crazy, bro. That's fucking crazy. Oh my God. He is back. That shit was smoked, bro. Holy shit, bro. I'm tweeting out, Giancarlo Stanton is fucking back. Holy crap. He is back. I just updated the Instagram caption. Giancarlo Stan crushes a Grand Slam. 5-1 Yankees. Our guy is back. Because he is our guy. He is our guy. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Yeah. That shit was smoked, bro. What the fuck? That's crazy, dude. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit, bro. Yeah, I wonder what the radio call was for that. Yo, in fact, is there anything better than a Grand Slam? I don't know. Here we go. Let's watch it together again. Oh, my God. Holy shit, was that clobbered. God damn. Bro, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, the bat flip was dope. The bat flip was dope. <laughs> oh, I love it. The thing I love about Stan is that, like, no matter how much shit Yankee fans will, like, talk about him at points, like, when he crushes one and when he does something good for the team, like, people want to love him. People enjoy getting behind him, which is dope. All right, let me refresh my feed over here. I still got to figure out my lunch plans. Holy shit. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to order the McDonald's now. Yep. Yo, drop a like if you're in here. Drop a like, drop a like. Let me see if I can order my McDonald's now if they're still screwing me. Oh, God. I'm just gonna have to order Burger King. All right, 5-1. 5-1, let's go chat. Lunch, bro, it's 3 p.m. Well, that's too early for dinner. What is it, Leonard? Leonard time? Nah, it's lunch. Everything is lunch. I mean, hell, by the time it gets here, it probably would be dinner, but... Ah, it's 2.48. It's lunchtime. <laughs> oh, dude, Stan is back. Yo, how, what was that? Was that like a... Uh... That shit was smoked. That was obviously a fastball. How fast was it? Nice. Good shit heal. I'm gonna try to get the uh, 93 word. Cool. <laughs> Linner, LMAO, what a phrase. Let's go. 93. Hey, for Stan, that's pretty good to be able to turn on that shit. Oh my god, he crushed that. Dude, I can't get over that. He, he smoked that shit. Yeah, facts, Mason R. I repeat, Stan hits home runs in bunches. He'll probably go deep later today. Wow. That shit's crazy, bro. All right, let's have ourselves an afternoon, folks. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yeah, facts. Hopefully it does help you'll get in a groove. Strikeout, Stan. He gave up a grand slam. That's the difference in the game now. Five one. 
Wow. They All both right. had similar innings other than the ending of it. Boom, boom, boom. That shit was smoke, bro. The sound off the bat. Holy crap. Facts. Facts, Joe. Joe says, gotta give respect to Rizzo for that walk, though. That was clutch. 100%. That was a great at-bat. Great at-bat. It's not an at-bat, man. It's a player parents. Let's go. Alright, I gotta fucking figure out my dinner shit. Yo, coming into last night, and didn't look good. Uh-huh. And just like that, shit turns around. I'm gonna see, uh, let's see what Giancarlo Stanton's WRC Plus is via Fangraph's live stats. Ripped foul. Come on, Stan, what do we got here? Giancarlo Stanton's slash line is now... Well, the OBP is still not great, but his average is up to 233, slugging 567. He now is a 136 WRC+. 136, folks, for Giancarlo Stanton. Three homers in the year. Let's go. I think I'm just going to pivot to Burger King for those asking about dinner. Or Lynn or whatever we're calling it. Oh, and I'm logged out of the Burger King app? Come on. What the hell? I'm not creating an account. I already have a Burger King account, bro. I already have a freaking Burger King account, dude. Oh, Yes, there we go. I got hella rewards points too. Well, I think both managers are in their mind or scuffling, figuring how are we gonna get through this? We're in their fourth inning and both starters are about the end of their least pitch box. Yeah, that third inning really cost Hill because he's pushing up against the number that they, they just Yeah, he was already eighty two pitches. So is it eighty two? The food right app's just preying on your downfall then, bro. Facts. I am finally in now to the yeah, Burger King app though. In Arizona. So my dad wanted a Big Mac from McDonald's, so I'll just get him a, a Whopper meal from Burger King. No onions. Good shit, heel. Oh, I cannot wait to submit this order and be done with having to get dinner. I guess we will just call it dinner now. What the hell? I mean, by the time I get it, it probably will be like 4 o'clock. Yeah, what the hell? I'll get a Whopper, too. I'm not driving. One and oh. And the pitch. Oh, his change is looking nasty today. Alright, no tomatoes. Absolutely no onions. You know what they say, for every onion I find, I'm going to kill somebody. Just kidding. Oh, absolutely no mayo. We're good off that. And we're certainly down for some ketchup. Extra, in fact. Yeah, we'll do pickles. What the hell? Large. Fries, sure. Large Coke Zero, done. Update, add to order. View cart, drive through. Tom's River. Good pitch, man. Good pitch. Damn, bro, you don't like flavor? I just, dude, I really can't do mayo. Not a fan of tomatoes, and especially don't like onions. Onions are not my vibe. Oh yeah, we'll use Apple Pay. This one I'll put on my credit card. So it doesn't seem like I just bought two di two uh, lunches or dinner, whatever you want to call it. And then somebody can just eat my meal at the McDonald's like four towns are over. Alright, finally. It has been placed. Let's go. Yeah, facts. Onions are the worst. But you know what's not the worst? Whoppers. I love Whoppers. And honestly, I think uh, Burger King soda is better than a uh, McDonald's. Anyways, this is a W. I'm fine getting Burger King. It's not a W that I wasted 20 bucks. But. And for those that are just joining, curious about what I'm talking about, I made a McDonald's order, but I accidentally submitted it to the total wrong town. That's like Michael says at your dad's house. Didn't you have your own place in Hoboken, or I think of someone someone else. Yeah, yeah. I had a I had two cribs in Hoboken. I had a, a studio apartment for a year, and then I uh, lived with my boy uh, Jack last year. At a boy heel. Let's go. Or he'll maybe can get through five. What's his pitch count at? 
He's probably like 90. Um, but anyway, I've been back in my parents' crib ever since that second lease ended, which was October. Um, gonna be back pretty soon. I'm thinking probably June will be back in Hoboken. Um, yeah, Jacob says I'm allergic to onions, so onions are an L for me. Yeah, that makes sense. Kong Cake says, way back in the day, I went to dinner at a friend's house, and they cooked onions into the hamburgers, and I just had a power through it. It was the worst. Into the, hu the hamburgers? That's tough, dude. That's tough. One second, I take a leak. Let my dad know about the order. Then, yeah. BRB. BRB chat. Oh, it took so long, yo. Bro, I was taking a leak, and I probably wa I watched that stand home like four times. What's well, good? Dan's got buns, though. What are we talking about? Dan and Hoboken were a match made in heaven. Oh, yeah, we'll be back soon. We'll be back. It is crazy expensive, not for sure. Surprised Dan isn't using the glizzy machine more. Bro, I kind of got a... I'm not going to lie. I had so many hot dogs during opening week. Obviously, during opening day, and then... uh. Like two days later, me and my boys, or two days earlier, me and my boys all had a nice like big land party where we were all playing, uh, you know, video games in the same room, and we ate hella hot dogs. I kind of hot dogged myself out. Volpe, foul ball. Um, it'll be back at some point though. Uh, Dan, what do you got as the best cereal? Ah, uh, best cereal. Um, cinnamon toast crunch goes hard. Frosted flakes goes hard. But if you're like looking like at a, a healthy breakfast or cereal, Wheaties. With banana in it? Forget about it. Forget about it. And a boy, Volpe, let's go. Let's go. What video games did y'all play? I only play MLB. They're, uh, they play like, my boys all play, you know, like that Fortnite crap. My boy Colin yesterday or two days ago when we had one was playing, uh, like a fishing simulator. I get on him all the time about it, but. Let's see. Glizzy machine, yeah, dude. I got a. If you look back at the opening day stream, I got a um, a hot dog machine off Amazon that had it's Coca Cola branded, thirty five bucks. Cooks twenty four dogs at a time. Bun steamer, all that. It's dope. It's dope. Chicken tenders or nuggets? Ah, probably tenders. Probably tenders. My Burger King order though. My dad is going to get it right now. Got him a Whopper meal with a chocolate shake. I myself got a Whopper meal with the. Uh, um, a large Coke Zero, which is gonna freaking slap. Gonna slap. Let's go, Wells. Dude, that is the most. I cannot wait to make the highlights later. Holy crap.
Oh, dude. This picture the Yankees just posted. Badass. Oh, Volpe should so take off. Volpe stays. 2-1. Include the Vlad fall into the highlights. Bro, I better remember. I better remember because that was hilarious. That shit was fucking hilarious when Vlad fell over Waldo. But speaking of, Waldo's on deck. Good eye, Wells. 3-1. 3-1. Oat milk is fire. Being lactose intolerant sucks ass. That does suck. I'm not lactose intolerant, but I do try to avoid dairy. Oh, he's going. Wells. That ball's kind of well hit. Damn. Damn, bro. Uh, chat, remind Dan to add Vlad Fall in the highlights at the end of the game. Yeah. I hopefully won't forget, but... Wells, that was a nice swing by him, man. I thought that had a chance. He'll be all right. He'll be all right, Pop. I love hot dogs. I haven't eaten those in a long time. Dude, that's where they hit. When you haven't had a hot dog in a good while, that's where they hit. Um, anyways, about the oat milk thing. Like, I always do oat milk in my coffee. I just like the way it tastes. Better than almond milk. Oh, name that yank. I have no clue. Let's go, Waldo. Ground ball right side. This will be just one. They ain't getting two. All right, back to top. Wells is hitting the ball really well just right at him. Yeah, he's had some good swings. He's had some good swings, especially a lot of good at-bats early on. Um... And again, I thought that ball had a good chance. Ooh, Glaber's talking to Angel. Is he apologizing or are you pissed? Not apologizing, but trying to be cool. Glaber's still talking to Angel. He's kind of like in his face. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Angel just giving him a pat on the back. <laughs> Boone's like, what's going on? That was interesting. Do I watch WWE? Nah. Nah, really. Come on, Glaves. Ooh. Oh, bastard. Stream to my left just died. Let me refresh. Ooh, chili dogs are banging. Chili dogs are banging. I like oat milk once. Start going into all almond milk, you lose me there. Yeah, almond milk I used to drink, but I feel like oat milk is so much better. Oh and two. Hey guys, who should be on the Yankees Avenue post game picture today? We know who. We know who. Come on, Glaves. Good eye. Oh, cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers are fucking banging. Bro, I live off cheeseburgers. I have a very much, like, classic, like, American diet. Like, I love hamburgers. I love hot dogs. I love all that shit. Driven to left field. Foul. Yeah, true. How the fuck do you milk an oat? I don't know. Smoked Italian sausage dog with baked beans and pulled pork on top of some shredded Mexican sprinkle on the top is my personal favorite dog. That is very specific, but that does sound banging. Sausage dogs are good, and I love baked beans. I would I would destroy that, bro. I've never had that, but I would. Five seconds, that would be that would disappear. Good eye, Glaves. I will. I got you, Donna. I'll remember. I'll remember. My diet American is how I love growing on the weekends. Facts. Me too, bro. It's really all I eat, just like meat. Like, I cannot... Like, I respect vegans, vegetarians, and all that. Like, do your thing. I don't really give a shit. Like, if it's what you want to do, fine. 
I just, if I don't eat meat, I do not feel full. And I like, like I'll have, you know, I, I like smoothies. I like fruits and vegetables, especially like apples, oranges. Like I eat that stuff a lot. Like in that regard, I am pretty healthy, but that can never be like, I would never feel full if that's all I had to eat. That's dropping. Let's go, Glaives. Atta boy. All right, runners in the coins for Soto. Dude, the Juan Soto homer here is going to hit like fucking crack. All right, Dan, the Stan homer. The Grand Slam in 20 minutes already has 7,200 likes on Instagram. Crazy. Crazy. All right, let's go, chat. I didn't even uh, notice that um, Francis, uh, about him, Francis or whatever, was out. <laughs> yeah, Dan meeting his daily hits like crack quota. Yeah, no, I just said a lot. Ground ball, damn it. Oh, wait, shit, he might beat that out. Nah. All good. All good, Soto. You're good, Pop. You're good. So we'll have uh, Judge Rizzo stand uh, for the fifth. Which, speaking of, that's where we're headed. Top of the fifth. Maybe he can get through five. That would be dope. Let me see what his pitch count is. I know it's up there. Oh, he's at 90. So he probably can't get through five. That's tough. Man, Soto is a mini funk. Eh, I mean, he was, Morgan. But he had a good game yesterday. And he got a hit today. He's all right. Stan hitting another one. Oh, so down. So down. I said it going into today that he's like my most like anticipated that bat. Seeing what he does. Ever had a Chicago dog? I had one when I went to Wrigley Field for a Cubs game, and they were amazing. No, I haven't. I've never been to Chicago. What's, like, different about it? Is it just, like, a different kind of meat, or... Dan, steak well done, medium or rare? Medium rare. Definitely medium rare. <laughs> yeah, God forbid we have an eighth or a ninth inning like yesterday. Yeah, I wonder what they're going to do. I wonder what we're going to do bullpen-wise. I mean, Cousins was warming up a couple of innings ago, so maybe they go right to him... Whether that's this inning or maybe they try to have heel like, I mean you can't see heel with ninety pitches getting through the fifth. So, regardless, they're gonna be going to some sort of reliever this inning. And let's go to the bullpen budget. Shout out James Smythe. Um, Clay will be available today. Fourteen pitches yesterday. I mean Hamilton could be available if they feel he's needed. Ferguson will probably go to. Birdie, I don't know. Santana, probably not. So, Cousins, they might look for for him to give him, like, at least an inning plus. Hopefully, two. Maybe have him bridge the way to the seventh, and then you go Ferguson for the seventh and eighth, maybe. And then Clay for the ninth. We'll see. I mean, right now, it's not a safe situation, but Cousins, then Santana. I don't know. I think definitely Cousins. I mean, we'll see any second now if Cousins is coming in. Oh, maybe it's on the graphic. Um... Santana threw 40 or 37 the other day, so I'm not too sure. And Heal is back out there for the uh, to start the fifth. I don't know if they go to Santana. I feel like it'll probably be Cousins, Ferguson, Holmes is their plan with trying to stay away from Hamilton. And then you could theoretically go to Birdie. I feel like the Yankees may try to get a pitcher up soon. I don't know. I mean, Weaver's a cool guy and all. I'd much rather have Beater on the roster than him. Popped him up. Foul. All right, let's go heel. Yeah, there's Cousins warming up. So he's coming in this inning. Unless heel has a crazy, like, I don't know, 10 pitch inning somehow. Hell yeah, hit the like button. Damn right, Radical. If you're in here, hit the like button, please. Yeah, ideally we do uh, keep scoring. Oh, they have uh, Cousins going three innings. Hey, barehanded by Glaber. a boy. Nice play. That was clean. Good shit. We'll quickly turn into a safe situation once our bullpen comes in. Yeah, I mean, with Cousins, you don't trust him to not allow any runs, so I'm sure he will, you know, give up one or two. When is McDonald's going to sell Dino Nuggies? Dude, Dino Nuggets were the fucking shit back in the day. I haven't had them in a while, though. Cousins, Ferguson's, and Holmes would be ideal. It's sad. Yeah, I feel like that's probably going to be their plan, especially with the, like they just mentioned in the Yes broadcast. Line, base hit. That might be it for... Uh, oh, that's in the gap. 
that's probably it for heal. Dude, Vlad looks so weird running, man. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, that's probably it for heal. Dan, out of all MLB ballparks, Mon Shaky Stadium, which is one you want to see a game at the most? Uh, maybe Oracle, like in San Francisco. If I could just snap my fingers and be there, not, you know, take a tour around San Fran, but, um, and you know, Fenway, probably. I want to go to it at some point. More of these watch parties. Oh, yeah. And that's it for heel. So, again, he goes four and a third, one run, barring Vlad scoring, which is possible. Uh, here's Cousins coming in. Um, did I ever go to the original Yankee Stadium? No, I didn't, dude. I did not, and it's like one of my... I don't know if I can say like biggest life regrets, because it's, it's not like I was a huge baseball fan before... Uh, or Yankees fan before, you know, it was demolished, but I wish I could have gone. Wish I could have gone. My first ever Yankee game wasn't until... Uh, at least at Yankee Stadium until 2014. 2012, I went to uh, Camden Yards, which Camden Yards is dope. A minus performance, to be honest. Yeah, uh, letter grades for heel. What do we got? So heels line, as of now, it could change. Four and a third, two hits, one earned run, four walks, eight Ks. I mean, eight Ks is really impressive. Kind of pretty similar to how he did in uh, Arizona. We'll see if this run scores. But I would go. <sighs> it's tough, man, because the Yankees really needed length today, and the fact that he didn't get through five, to be honest, has me thinking like. Eight Ks is nice. One and run is nice. But he only went four and a third. Chat, I'm on like, to be honest with you, C plus B minus territory. And again, C plus is like a passing grade. C plus is, is still technically good. I mean, it's above average. It was solid. And like eight Ks is great. One and run is great. I wish he gave us a little more length. So like, maybe I'll go B minus. Because he did not pitch bad. The four walks though. Got to work on that. Yeah, I'll go like I'll go B minus. I think C plus doesn't C plus sounds a little bit too harsh, but I'm like in that area. C plus to B minus. I'll go B minus though. Solid B. Yeah, B minus, C plus, B B, B plus, A minus. Yeah, I can't go that high, just because he didn't give us length. But yeah, I got you on a B minus. Yeah, too many walks. I agree, Brett. All right, let's see what Cousins does. Cousins actually showed some pretty nice stuff in Arizona. I mean, he got tagged for a homer, but he actually showed some decent stuff. Like, that slider's nasty. His slider has crazy movement. <laughs> N64, 77, 64. Line to right field. Oh, shit. God damn it. That's going to score a run. All right. We got a three run game now. So now that completes Seal's line. Two runs. I'll go C. Plus. Final greeting. A good C. Plus. All right. Cousins got to do his job now, though. Come on, Cousins. This is very much still a ball game. Very much so. Nice slider. Is it one and one? Is there a strike? Oh, I guess so. Nice pitch. One and two. Come on. He's like only thrown slider so far. Come on, dude. So many timeouts, I feel like. Let's just play baseball, damn it. It's a big spot. Big spot. Come on. Let's go, cousins. I wonder if he's going to throw him another slider here. I'm trying to remember what else he has. Is it like a sinker? Slider again. 
because it has so much movement on that slider. He's starting at the middle of the plate, and it's you know a foot away. Uh, this is almost to the point where you're going to have to start right at the hip of a right-handed hitter. He's doing slider again. No, there we go. That singer's got nice movement. Three and two. Three and two. I would maybe throw that shit again. I feel like they're really sitting slider. The pictures are saying the cold weather and the wind. It was very hard to get a grip on. Excuse me. You see a lot of them going to their mouth, but still, that's not enough. Three two. Oh, he did not go. Hey, they're just sitting on that slider, bro. Oh, let's let's try to get a DP here, please. Please, please, please. The, bull, the bullpen gave up a run already. I don't know how he won last game with this bullpen. Yeah, I mean, some of it was kind of... I mean, Hamilton technically gave up two runs, which won't always happen. And Weaver's just not great as, like, a mid-relief guy. Even though last night was, like, the first time he actually was brought in as what his actual role should be, which is, like, a long-relief dude. But... Uh, we're good. Um, I do not see Weaver lasting the whole season on the roster as a bullpen piece. Come on, Cousins. This could get ugly, folks. This could get ugly. Sometimes when the ball is extremely high, they, you reach, I think you kind of almost lose sight of it as a catcher because of your mask. Damn. 2 0. No, Boone and, and the pitching coach, Matt Blake, probably in that dugout now, agonizing. Well, what do we do if he can't get out? So, you know, he may just have to use Hamilton back to back days, even though he threw 20 pitches yesterday. Atta boy. 2 1. For all those contingencies, but hoping that Cousins finds it. Right. I mean, offensively, the last couple of days, I mean, may just have to risk putting Birdie back out there. Where, you, know, you know, he looked terrible so in the home opener, today, but before that, he looked pretty night. good. Just struggling to get out from a team. Toronto coming into this series, not swinging the bats well at all. Two and two. And they were no hit and one hit in their series against Houston. I'm nervous, chat. I'm pretty freaking nervous right now. So two and two on Biggio, first and second. One man in already. It's 5-2 Yankees stop the fifth. Yeah. That one must have gone around it's outside. the outside corner. I was outside. Three, two. Yeah, ball supposed to be down and in at the, at the back door. Never really got to the outside corner. Fly ball, nice. Should be no problem. Volpe's got it. And a boy, right there, perfect. Two dead, two dead. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. <laughs> wow, it's 2024 and this dude is rocking a mullet. He must live way upstate. Nah, I'm in the uh, Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore, yo. Oh, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> Let's go, Cousins. Come on, one more. So Cousins comes on, gives up the RBI double with the shed, and then Cousins walks Kirk. Where are you going? That a boy. The slider's nasty, man. Cannot take that away from him. That's why I lost fantasy this year. I love the guy, but he got hurt for me in fantasy football. When he hurt that Achilles, I'm sure the first thing he thought was, you know what, I'm going to call. Achilles, I'm sure the first thing he thought was, you know what, I'm going to cost on the other thing. Refreshing my feet on the left. Let's go, Cousins. Come on, 1-1. One, one. Or 1-2 one, in live time. Foul out of the way. And Michael Jake actually played football, too, but then realized he didn't exactly like getting hit, so we decided to focus on baseball. And I can't say that. Yeah, for those uh, who haven't heard, this is the cousin of... Jake Cousins is the cousin of Kirk Cousins. Come on, Jake. What do you say now, kid? It's a big spot. Big spot. 1-2 to Clement. Who Clement's been good in this series. Really good. Good pitch, man. They're just sitting on that slider, though, dude. Feels like if that shit starts in the uh, away third, they just know it's going to be ball. 
Some of their fingers are like going sideways. <laughs> and I told him that. I said, yeah, well, I get a bad finger. We got problems. Popped him up. In play. Wells. No, he dropped it. Fuck. Oh, that's horrible. That is tough. That is tough, man. Damn. That's probably a tough play with the sun, but shit. That's unfortunate. Alright, come on, Cousins. Still on you. Let's go. Nice pitch. That was a good pitch. In Yankee history, Yogi dropped a pop-up against the Red Sox. Allie Reynolds was on the mound, mm -hmm. pitching a no-hitter. It was Ted Williams who popped it up. They dropped the pop-up to the final line of the game. And then you know what? Did the exact same thing on the next pitch, and Yogi caught it. Ah, uh, there we go. You set the stage here? <laughs> Not quite the same with that stage, but... Popped him up. Judge. Nice. Good shit. All right, Cousins. Not bad. Not bad. All right, chat. We'll take it. We'll take it. He looked good pitching, in my opinion. Yeah, no, his stuff is his stuff is good. His stuff is good. I mean, he had that first, uh, that Bichette one, but all good. He really just technically ratted, what, that one base runner, and then uh, I guess he did have a walk, too. But, hey, we'll take it. 5-2 game. His stuff looks good. You figure he's going to start the six, and they hopefully want him to get through that inning. So, cool. Repping Yankees from North Dakota, the Hall Z's. I don't know what the Hall Z's is, but what's up, bro? From North Carolina. Hall Z. Oh, I see. Hall Z's. That's your name. Like the singer? Would you ever visit Houston for a game? Hell yeah. Would so go to Houston for a game. I'm a big fan of the Death Star Siren, too. Pemperoni. And that does count as an error, Joe, on a. Uh, um, on Wells. All good, though. No harm, no foul. Poted Adaviano says, Kate talks too much for a play-by-play -play announcer. I totally disagree. I love Kay and everything about him. I love everything about him. Only Stroman can go six, the bullpen being way overused. Oh, 100%. 100%. We were talking about that earlier. We talking about that earlier. Yeah, no. That's why I was given heel a C-plus for his outing, even though his stuff looked good, had eight Ks, only allowed what is now two runs. Him going only four and a third, that's that's tough. That is definitely tough. Would have liked for him to go a little bit deeper. But all right, 5-2 game going into the bottom of the fifth. Bro, I'm fucking hungry. Oh, we want to hear the, uh, here's the John Sterling call on Stanton's Grand Slam. And the pitch hit in the air to deep left. It is high. It is far. It is gone. It's a grand slam. Huh. Sterling didn't seem all that excited on that. Judge. Center field. Yeah, let's go, Ace. Ball Come ball on, Riz. Again, I think that's good news Let me pull the chat the back up fans. here. It's great news, right? Gonna need really at least guys. 10 runs to win. The, I don't know about that, but it would be nice to add some insurance. Play by play. Pretty good. Very good. He's always walking back. You know, he's got some time on his hands. Uh, I need my Diet Coke, bro. And my Whopper. Program every day, but now he can't do that anymore. So you see him during batting practice kind of bopping around in the dugout trying to pass some time. He just wants to get back Good out Riz. the mound, get back to his routine. Yeah, man, that Rizzo walk before, that was huge. Right before the Stanton Grand Slam. 
time ago. Good ass at bat. Got an RBI. And he said, when you're on, at, at that time, when you're on the DL. Get an eye, boy. Like Second wall for Riz. Let's get that OBP up. Hell yeah. You can even be around the team, but Word, that might bring Riz's OBP up to like the 350 range. He was at 333 before that. And here's the man, the myth, the legend, Giancarlo Stan. Look at that 825 OPS. Hell yeah. Yeah, word. Uh, just below 350. Rizzo's OBP now at 349 after that wall. Come on, Stan. Oh. And what's that? Another one. Grand slam, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What are you guys doing after the game? Anything fun? I will be... Oh! Now, that was actually a nice pitch. I just gotta go to the gym, do some editing. Be fucking kicking it. Get ready for a nice big Monday. Yeah, I thought that shit was... Oh, five ball to left. Hey, my old dunk. Foul? Oh, that's foul. Nobody's catching that. Ha, ah, yo, why did the left fielders are just taking over? Why the hell is Clement all the way out there? Um, that, yeah, that should have been the left fielder. Who's that, Varsho? Yeah. Um, yeah, Varsho should have been all over that. I forget what I was saying, chat. Yeah, that shit was smoked. I would have guessed that was like 117 miles an hour. Not that 110 slow by any means. Come on, Stanton. 0 2. Ripped foul. Dude, he's hitting the ball so well, seeing the ball so well. Yo, how nice would it be, chat, if John Carl Stan is legitimately back? Oh, that was so crushed. Oh, bro, I can't imagine being in the stadium for that one, dude. Holy shit, bro. Let's go, G. Come on. O2. Good eye. One and two on Giancarlo. Ground ball. This could be two. All good. All good. Honestly, still get somewhat decent at bat by Stan. He looked all right there. I think, folks, we really might be back. And is that funny to say after a DP? Sure. But I think he looked good. My post-game plan, Dan? Uh, yeah, just, um... It's at the gym. Gotta do some editing for uh, John Boy and whatnot. Maybe I'll kick up my homies for a minute. And then, yeah, getting ready for uh, another, another dope week. Another dope week. That sounded so stupid. Is Feo a fan or a friend? Friend. Feo is a friend of mine. I don't know him. In, well, no, I've met him in person. I, I met him, though, through... Uh, originally, like, online. Because he's a big, like, John Boy fan. Uh, that became a friend. Oh, you're umping some baseball tonight. Sunday Night Baseball for you. All right. Who's uh, playing Sunday Night Baseball for uh, MLB tonight? Let's see. That'd be sick if there's a good game for that. I would enjoy watching that. Let's see. I kind of miss when Sunday Night Baseball was 8 o'clock. Instead of 7. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. Astros Rangers. That's pretty good. Astros Rangers tonight on ESPN. I consider tuning that on. Need our bullpen to shut it down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Cousins will be back out for the uh, seventh. Is that where we're at now? Or sixth? Sixth. Rangers by eight. Yeah, it's crazy. Just I mean, we were a big part of it, but it's crazy just to look at Houston's record being two and seven. That's fucking crazy. And like I said, I hope they still make the playoffs because I want to face them in the ALCS. Do we know when the Yankees' first prime home game is? Uh... Let me look up the Yankees' prime schedule. Amazon Prime 2024 schedule. I imagine it's soon. Yeah, yo, this Wednesday. So we got the uh, we got the Miami game, or Miami series, and then the series finale on Wednesday is a prime. So April 10th, this Wednesday. And then the next one is two Wednesdays later, April 24th. We got quite a few. I'm pretty sure we have, like, I think it's like 20 of them this year on prime. Yep, Cousins back out, as we expected. 
Great channel, as you're not lagging like other Yankee live chat casts. Thank you, dude. It's actually a problem I like just fixed today. Because I was lagging before. Fly to left. Come on, Verdukes. Dude, the sun must really be tough today. Everybody's having trouble. Yeah. Cool, I want to see the Astros lose again. Me too. Let's see what the pitching matchup is. I think I saw Javier. Oh no, it's a uh, Blanco, the guy that the uh, the guy that threw the no hitter in like his eighth career start last week. He's going for the Astros, and then Dane Dunning for the uh, Rangers. Yeah. Dane Dunning's like a he's a solid pitcher, respectable. So I'll probably watch that. Probably watch that tonight. Do we think Stan is back back, or he's just going through a couple good at bats? I mean, you know my answer, bro. Mr. Optimistic over here. He's back back. Now, what exactly does that mean? Maybe not like 2018 or 2021 stand, which was like his best years as a Yankee. But can he stay healthy and hit 35 bombs while being like a, a 110, 115 OPS plus guy? Or WRC plus, whichever one you want to use? I think so. I think that's very plausible, especially with the way he's looking on fastballs. And word, in simpler terms, I like what SPMBP11 just said. I, I 240 batting average or 35 homers for Stanton. I think he's very much capable of that. So, yes, I do consider Stanton the... Or not consider, but I, I'd like to think he's back back. I know it's early, but the Yanks bringing home 28. Oh, it's never too early to say that, Banana Army. I'm with you 100%. Dude, Cousins throws a slider almost a little bit too much. It's nasty, but like, bro, let's throw that sinker a little bit more. Especially with how much like, it's always setting up in the away third part of the zone. Hey, Mar the Marlins are about to get the first win. Let's go. I was talking about this yesterday. I do not want the Marlins to come into Yankee Stadium for our series tomorrow. Nice three and two. Um, with the Marlins still being winless, because then it really feels like they're due for a win, and you feel like that would come against us. So they're beating the Cardinals right now, seven to one. Dan, what is the best best fast food chain, and what is your go to order? Honestly, dude. If I had to pick one fast food chain to die with, only get one the rest of my life, it would be what I have on the way right now, Burger King. Burger King, a Whopper meal with, uh, I usually do an eight-piece nugget on the side, large Coke Zero, forget about it. McDonald's is good too. Blooped into right center, god damn it. Base hit, one out hit for IKF. Um, but yeah, nah, Burger King, Burger King for show. Rizzo is key in this lineup, he breaks up the lefties, 100%. And Rizzo's starting to look a little better. Had the uh, two-run shot yesterday. Two walks today, so his OBP is out there now at 349. Let's see what his live WRC plus is. He might be at 100 now. He was like 92 entering this game. Oh, yeah, Trevor Story like dislocated his shoulder or something. Ball low. Yep, Rizzo as we speak. With the two walks today, is now at a 113 WRC+. Plus. So now, hella guys they have now are above league average. Soto, Judge, Rizzo, Stanton, all above league average. Of course, Wells, Waldo. Glaber's like in the 90 area. Wendy's is queen, but I know Dan has history. Yeah, they screwed me over the other night. Although I always went back to him last night. I wanted food so bad after the game yesterday. I ended up just having two apples. It's going back to what I said before. Like When I'm hungry and all I have is meat, or if all I have is stuff that isn't me, it's like it just really doesn't fill me up. But it was also so late. And I didn't want to uh I didn't want to go out and get food at like two AM because then my dad would think I'm smoking pot again. <laughs> so I just starved. And I am technically in the cut right now. Kind of. Um Oh fuck. Just walked Kier Myers. So now we got top, first and second one out. This is scary, dude. We do need more runs. We really need more runs. Bro, you may just have to go to Hamilton on back-to-back -back days. I mean, Santana's nasty, but he threw 37 pitches two days ago. I don't know if they can go back to him. Who's pitching tomorrow? Nestor. Nestor's got to give us six tomorrow, bro, at least. We'll have Nestor, Rodone, Stroman. Would you like to figure Stroman's a lock for six again? But maybe if, yo, if one of these guys can give us, like, I mean, the Marlins stink, dude. Like, maybe somebody can give us seven innings in this series.
All right, let's go, Cousins. Come on. All right, this is scary, dude. First and second, Tyron at the plate and George Springer. Let's see what we got here. Please do not hang any sliders. I would pat him with a sinker, dude. I'm really just try to get a DP. Oh, Boone's making a move. Who's, who's warming up? Boone's making a move. I wonder who. Four. Who is it in the bullpen? All right, so not great from Cousins, but... We'll see how uh, whoever's Nick Birdie, Nick Birdie. Which, if he can just find the zone, that's not a bad idea because the Blue Jays, I believe, have three righties in a row. It's Springer, Vlad, and Bo, and then Kirk, who Kirk's a righty as well. So you got four righties in a row for Birdie. Yo. Just come in, bruh. It's unlocked. I got it. You good? You get your shit? I don't know which is which. Wanna say hello to the stream? This How is Dan Rourke Sr., everybody. How Stop you doing? Us. Yours is the big one. There you go. You got fries in there, too. I think this is yours. Wait, hold up. Just don't go nowhere. Mine has an extra ketchup and just lettuce. Oh, that's yours. That has mayo all over it. What are you saying? There's fries in here for me? Why? Because I got the meal, bro. Hold on. Here you go. It's a big spot. First and second, one out. Gracias. You got that? Yup. All right, guys. Yeah. You finished with it? Yup. Appreciate it, bro. How nice. How nice. All right, yo. Now we're officially chilling. I don't think I'll eat my burger on stream like a pig, but. Mmm. Mmm. God damn! That's fucking good. That's fucking good, trap. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. This is why George Washington founded this country, damn it. And the founding fathers for Burger King. Bro, if I ever commit a heinous crime, this is my last meal. All right, let's go, Bird. Nick Birdie on the face, George Springle. And there's a strike. God damn. Uh, you look at stuff, and this is the guy that really could be the wild card. I mean, 97, Come on, Birdie. 98. Again, it's about getting ahead and, and, and being efficient. I mean, you, you can't pitch around guys. You just got to battle and, and believe that your stuff's good enough to get guys out. Yeah, Jim Cousins is... is, is you know, gonna go over his outing and go, why didn't I throw a strike to Kevin Kiermaier? Kevin's really struggling. Yeah. Yeah, those, those are the ones, if you're a manager or a pitching coach, you just scratch your head. You gotta realize the situation. Come on, Birdie. Find the zone. Now, last time out, Nick Birdie was kind of all over the place, and he wasn't helped out with uh, Trevino. BK is banging. No, BK fries are pretty freaking good. I think BK, BK fries are fire. Especially right now. Like these taste... Like, you know, every fast food joint has, like, good days and bad days. Like, sometimes you get fries on a bad day that he's, like, soggy like shit. These are nice, crisp, and warm. And a boy. See, that's a nice-ass pitch. 99. Kind of on the block. Black. On the block. Mmm. God damn. Come on, birdie. 2-2. Two, two. Turn two? Oh my god, bro. That's an E5 and it's a big error. That's tough. That is really freaking tough, dude. I wonder if IKF cutting in front of him might have just blinded for a moment. Well, it's not gonna be a double. Screw it, bro. I gotta eat my whopper on stream. Bro, these bastards, I'm not eating this fucking shit. These fucking bastards covered in mayo. Covered in fucking mayo, bro. Fucking dickheads. My bad, big boy. I tell you what, I'm in a tough position now. If you're Nick Birdie. Here's Vlad Guerrero, so an E5 on Cabrera. Bases loaded, one out. You want to know? Oh. 
fucking bastards, bro. Oh well, I just wanted the Coke anyways. Mayo is not one of those things you can just take off, yo. It's not like it's a tomato. If it was just tomato, I can just... Or an onion, I can take it off. Ground ball to the left side. Look, come on. That's gonna get at least one in, because he ain't getting two. Alright. We're chilling, chat. We're chilling. I get food after. And I got fries. I got my DC, which is the main thing I wanted. Mm. Well, if you're Wells and Birdie, you got to realize you have jammed two guys with the fastball. And that's where, you know, you just got to believe that you can get guys out. This is Vlad Guerrero. Look, he can't get to it. Just shatters the back. <laughs> Yo. Watching Vlad run is something else. Good movement, high velocity, in on a right-hander's hand. They're not going to hurt you. Here's Bichette. First and third, two outs. Pop him up. Again, right in on the hands, late, fouled away. Bro, I'm getting screwed by fast food places lately, chat. I don't know what's going on. Oh, punked him. And Bichette gets hit. He's in a lot of pain. Birdie's saying to hit his bat. And an entire country now holds its breath. Well, Birdie trying to run that ball in, having success with that two seamer. But you know, if you miss in, this is what happens. A lot of this day and age, a lot of the hitters kind of dive out there. And you run one up and in. No chance of getting out of the way. All right, y'all. Base is juice. Got him right on the back of the elbow. I think he has a pad there, but still. Sorry, Chad. I'm done picking out now. It hurts. It's just concerning. I'm not going to lie. As a big believer in the Yankees bullpen, I will admit we've got some trouble here. It looked like that. I mean, there's a hard. We got some trouble here. Upper, but it looked like it got the soft part and right. You're gonna have to get Hamilton up, dude. I think. Hamilton may have to pitch today. This could get bad. I would hit up the Marlins like after our series with the Marlins, see if they got any relievers and try to make a trade. Because reports have already come out, like they're ready to sell already the Marlins with, with how bad their start is. There's Kirk, big and like, bad. Let me see what you guys are saying. Right yeah, huge AB. Do we know when Kaylee's coming back? We don't know exactly. Um, I know he had a setback recently. It was supposed to just be a slight delay. Like he was kind of just behind on his spring because he was having some, uh, I think it was like forearm fatigue or general arm soreness or some shit. Popped him up, foul. All right, 0-2 birdie, come on. Um, but yeah, no, we don't exactly know just yet. It's not supposed to be a long-term thing, so I mean, maybe end of the month. I'm not sure though. And then F. Ross comes back second half. Trevino second half, ish. One two. One two. Come on, Birdie. Pop them up. And then, like, what do you do for the seventh? Does Birdie start the seventh? I feel like they'll probably, if Birdie gets out of this, he's only at 13 pitches, they're probably going to have try him go for the seventh. Or maybe Ferguson, because then you have a couple lefties coming up for the Blue Jays. You have Biggio and Varsho. So, actually, they'll probably try to go to, they'll probably go to Ferguson next inning. Pop them up. In play. In play. Come on, Wells. Uh, nice! Let's go! Let's go! Fuck yes! Let's go, chat. Let's go. Do you go to any Yankee games or you just watch them? Uh, well, I watched the home opener. That was dope. Uh, but for the most part, I just watch them, which I like it that way better, honestly. Damn, what has happened so far? Uh, we had a John Carlos Stanton Grand Slam that scored four of the five runs. Before that, Rizzo worked a bases loaded walk. That's the Yankees scored their five. 
Um, Luis Heal gave up one earned while he was pitching, and then his second earned run came in after uh, Jake Cousins allowed him in. It was an inherited runner. So two run runs on Heal, and then another run just scored in this past inning, so it's a 5-3 game. But word, let's go. Let's go. We'll take it. We will take it. I mean, Ferguson I trust. I do trust Ferguson, and I think because... I mean, Toronto can always pinch it. I don't know who they have on the bench, but you bring in Ferguson, the lefty, to face what will be Biggio, a lefty, Clements, a righty, but Varsha's a lefty. So two of the three batters do up next inning for the Blue Jays are lefties. And then you have IKF and Kiermaier after that. I feel like if they're going to try to avoid Hamilton, they might try to do Ferguson for the 7th and the 8th, get him to clay, is my, is my guess right now. But I would not rule off, or excuse me, rule out them warming up Hamilton if it gets to it. Which still, I don't know. I mean, Hamilton obviously is great, but like we've used him a lot, and yesterday he didn't look great. He did go up two runs. Yeah. You know, Burger King really screwed me over, by the way, with that uh, lathering. The devil's come all over my hamburger. But this is clutch. DC, forget about it. Let's see who that name that Yankees. Mm. Mark Witten? I don't even know who that is, to be honest. That's embarrassing. Or Whiten? Witten? You know, I like water. Water's great. And I drink my fair share of it, so I'm not totally unhealthy. And I've quit a lot of things in my day. I've quit the vape. I've quit... A lot of things. Not anything too serious, but you get the point. I will never, ever, 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 ever give up soda. Soda's freaking good. Tim Miza in. So we're going to have Verdugo, Volpe, Wells. Yep. 7, 8, 9. 6, 7, 8. Excuse me. Come on, Verdugs. Yeah, Verdugo's got to get it going. Ground ball. On a hop. IKF. What the hell? One dead, I guess. You can see he's starting to get a little frustrated. Yeah. He had that home run in Arizona, which gave him a little bit of a rest, but he's still not where he wants to be. No, you know, if you break his his swings down, I mean, he's swinging at strikes. He's putting the ball in play. There's there's just something a little bit off. He's not really, you know, driving the ball yet. Had the big home run in, uh, in Arizona, but. Uh, you know, I think they brought him in as a kind of a grinder, and, and that's what you're going to see as he gets uh, back into the game and starts swinging the bat a little bit better. One and one on, uh, I mean, Anthony this is way two. far out there in the future, but, like, we're talking about, like, where Jason fits back in, and there's Ferguson warming up. So, yeah, he'll, he'll start the seventh. Um, I mean, if Verdugo is still really struggling by the time that happens, like June or July when... Never Jason's ready. Safe! Give him a hit. That's a hit. Yep. Good shit, Volt. Dude, Wells should go deep here. That would be sick. But anyways, if, big if, if Verdugo is still struggling by the time Jason's ready, there's a lane as well. Especially if the DH spot is not a clear option if Stanton's kind of back. Good shit, Volt. That's a base hit, too. Yep, two hits. Now, Volby's batting over 400. 406. Let's go. Nice. A Wells homer would be great. I do like the idea of Volpe stealing second here. Whatever way you can get another run across, let's do it. Let's do it. Does Waldo have a hit today? No, he does have a walk though. What happened to Verdugo? He uh, grinded out the second. Ketchup, devil's nosebleed. Ketchup is great, dude. Like, on the Whopper that I was going to eat, I asked for extra ketchup. Like, I, I like my burgers wet, bro. Like, when I go to McDonald's, you get, like, a, a McDouble or whatever. Soak that shit in ketchup. And, um... I don't want to call this a hack. People always just say, like, this is a life hack, when it's, like, it's not a life hack. But, uh... If you ever get, like, a McDouble or a regular cheeseburger from McDonald's, add lettuce to that shit. It really turns it into... A more like deluxe tasting burger. You add lettuce 
And then have the ketchup, the pickles, and if you like onions, you can put onions on it. Lettuce on a McDonald's, like, standard hamburger, shit hits. If you get, like, a quarter pounder, they put it on there no matter what, but... If he just died on here... Let's go, Wells. 3-0. The rubber game, the 3 -0. Right down the middle, three and one. <laughs> Maybe if I'm hungry later, I'll take a trip to that uh, McDonald's like three towns over. And see if my food's still there after like three hours. Let's go, Wells. Good shit, Wells. All right, first and second one out for Waldo. Let's go. Let's score here. We got to score here. Oh, jealous, Morgan. I have a gourmet sandwich place that I can walk to. Dude, that's fire. That is fire. Oh, really? Phil, you've had a... I'm just going to call you Phil, F-I-L. Uh, the Impossible Whopper? Eh. I'm kind of good off that stuff, man. But if you like it, word. Oh, I'm with you, John. Don't get me wrong. Like, Burger King is my go-to. I do like McDonald's, too. I don't think it's nasty, but I'm with you on Burger King. Burger King is so underrated. And they fell off for a little bit. Don't get me wrong. Like, Burger King had its period of, like, kind of regressing to being just, like, some gross-ass gross ass place. But they're back. Burger King is back. And I say that as someone who just suffered from them massively screwing up my order that I couldn't eat. Putting mayo over the whole thing. Mm. I'd be a lot more irritated if I didn't have a my DC though. Or should I say CZ? It's a Coke Zero, not a DC. Let's go, Waldo. Come on. Two zero. Yep. Ground ball foul. Shake Shack never had. What was that? Who's the ump? It's Angel Hernandez. It is Angel Hernandez. Go figure. Kind of good off Taco Bell. Dan Work is a P. Diddy file. Honestly, dude, and I see your Red Sox fan just trolling. Fair game. Um, I'm so lost on what's going on with the whole like Diddy thing. I always see memes about it and shit. Grounded foul. Um, and I'll see like clips like Justin Bieber when he was younger looked so uncomfortable around Diddy. Now we know why. Like I don't know why. I assume he did some shitty, effed up things. Not that we got even got to go into. I don't even, even care. But I feel so out of the loop. Maybe there's like a documentary I gotta watch or something. I still gotta watch that Nickelodeon documentary or whatever. Jordan right field. That ball's somewhat well hit. Uh, that's gonna be foul. Did he catch that? Holy crap! That was a hell of a play, man. God damn. That was a hell of a play. Hell of a play. I know. Yeah, he's gone, Phil. Don't worry. I thought he was just like a cool guy, kind of. Not cool guy, but like trolling in a, a funny way, but now he's just spamming. All right, they're going to the pen. The top. So we'll have runs for the corners, two outs for Glaber. Good for you, Owen. Nice, man. <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy catch. Crazy catch. All right, commercial break. How we feeling? How we feeling? <laughs> yeah, man, love is love. We need some more runs. 100% Donna. Glaber coming through here would be huge. This is one of Glaber's bigger ABs of the season right here. And he does have to get going. Glaber definitely has to get going. Yeah, I am an ally, Michael. Yep, more runs, more runs. Go Yanks. Hell yeah, Pete. 
see what the Stanton post is doing. Oh, damn, this girl is bad. Giancarlo Stanton, Grand Slam on Yanks Ave, 10,690 likes. That is sick. Hell yeah. 300 comments. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, what I'm really talking about is Grand Slam in itself. Oh, damn. I posted that twice on Facebook. Shit. I wonder who the Blue Jays are bringing in. Richards. T. Richards. Let's see what he's all about. Trevor Richards, and he is, let's see, I assume a right-hander. Yep, 30-year-old right-hander, career 4.45 ERA. Dude, I don't need to see Andrew McCutcheon's 2,000 hit for the millionth time. Um, last year, 56 games, 4.95 ERA in 72 innings. Did have 105 Ks in those 72 innings, so that's pretty nasty. But his ERAs are never really that great. Oh, I don't think he was undrafted? All right, let's go, chat. Big spot here. Big spot. <laughs> Keep what in my fans, Robbie? All right, here we go. Trevor Richards, let's go. Come on, Glaves. Need a run here. Good eye. That's a nasty pitch. That change of holy shit. Almost like a fork ball. He may just want a fresh arm against top, but who knows? Line foul. Yeah, Glaber's just a little bit off. Just a little bit off. Yo, 445 people in here. Let's go. Like the video, please, if you can. Helps me out a lot. One one. Dude, that change. Go! Go! Let's go! Let's go! That's huge. That's huge. Fuck yes. Run scores in a wild pitch. Bro, that changeup he throws is nasty. That shit falls off the table, man. That's great, though. That's huge. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. That's huge. Uh, let's go, Glaive. Still in a spot here. Get a run in. Wow, dude. That changeup is impressive, dude. Holy crap. You know, I'd be swinging at that. Out of the way. And just like that, that wild pitch that scored Volpe is up on Yang Sev. Let's go, Glaves. 3 2. Oh, I love Olive Garden. I cannot talk shit about Olive Garden. I eat that shit up. Here we go, Glaves. Ooh! Ground ball. Fielded at third, over to first. Inning over. All good, though. All good. We did get an insurance run, and that was a big one. 6-3. Needed that. And Ferguson, even though he gave up the lead the other day, not the lead, but came in after uh, Stroman gave up a homer to give the Blue Jays the lead. I feel pretty good about him, especially going against two lefties in Biggio and Varsho. And just in general against the bottom of the Blue Jays order. Let's go, chat. Cheesecake Factory? Nah, I never had Cheesecake Factory. Oh, you know, yes, I have. I have had Cheesecake Factory. It was all right. I had it at a mall. I think it was okay. Yo, <laughs> who just commented on my on the Yanks have Instagram? Mr. Sacalaritis. Dan likes mayo on his burgers. <laughs> no. 
funny. All right, 6-3. 6-3. So we're going Ferguson to start this inning out. Maybe he can get us through the eighth, too. We'll see how he looks. And then you go Clay for the ninth. That's a big run, though. Big run. Excuse me. Still going Stanton for the postgame pick, obviously. Unless anything crazy happens. Which I can't really see. Something happening to overtake him getting the postgame picture. Remember, Chad, tomorrow's game is at 6. Tomorrow's game's at 6 against the Marlins, which I think is because the solar eclipse or whatever, which kind of whatever, who Moon missed. Um, uh, who are we talking about, Ben? Just let me know. I have to, like, see it. Oh, the off-grid guy? This guy? Oh, yeah. Peace out, bro. Get the fuck out of here. I think... Is that who you're talking about? Off-grid? Yeah, where he's gone. Thank you. How does it feel running an account with 100k? It must feel powerful. No, it doesn't feel powerful. Most are just from the highlights anyways. But yeah. Nestor versus Jesus Lazaro. Nice little uh, Southpaw matchup tomorrow. Let's go, Ferg. I need Judge to hit twice and Rizzo to get a hit for 200 bucks. What are the odds of that? To hit twice and... Eh, I don't know, bro. I mean, it's not impossible, but I don't, at this point, the seventh... Damn it, bro. Lead off single. Bloops went in. I'm like already almost on my soda, too. All good, though. I'll probably get some more food before the gym. Yeah, that sucks. Nothing Ferguson can do. I mean, that's soft contact. Just perfect placement. All right, come on. Let's go, Ferg. Come on. Here's Clement. Clement's been a dog this series. At least the first two games. Ball in. Clement came up 52 plate appearances last year at 380. Then he had a good spring training, and we made the team. Atta boy. Or I thought Angel was going to call it a ball for a second, bro. I would have punched him through the screen. Oh, a slight neck ache, but I'll manage. Mustard. Yeah, not a mustard guy either, by the way. Ground ball left side. Come on. Ooh, nice play wall, though. I thought he was going to go right to first, but way to get the lead runner. Cool. One dead. Ferguson's got a nice look about him. Yeah, that's a good play by wall, though. But, you know, Ferguson, he has a... He always looks kind of like cool, calm, and composed. So far, I like him. All right, here's another lefty in Varsho. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Varsho's a switch hitter, right? Oh, no, 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 they pinch hit. Varsho is a lefty. They're pinch hitting Davis Schneider, a righty. Pop them up, pop them up. Stay in play, yeah. Fuck. Oh, one. Come on, Glaves. Glaves. Come on, Ferguson. Blue, come on, man. That's just literally a dot. I ain't talking to you, Siri. What the hell? How are you still in here, bro? Hold on. Oh, I'm getting rid of this guy. I don't know. I thought I did already.
There we go. How much can I bench? I mean, I, I, I lift at Planet, so it's off the Smith machine. The most I can do is six reps with a, a plate and a 25 on each side on a good day. So I don't even think that's a... Like, I don't even think that's 185. Popped him up. Nice. Yeah, I think the Smith bar is like, isn't it like 20 pounds or something? Nice. Two dead. Huge. Let's see. Let's just say the Smith bar is 20. 45 plus 25 times 2, 140. So I'm probably at like 165 right now. Nothing crazy by any means. But we're getting there. We are getting there. Ah, bastard. Let's go, Ferg. Can we talk about how Ferguson looks like Toby from The Office? Bro, I've never seen The Office. I've never seen it. I'm good in the gap, but as I go towards the line, it's top. But, you know, that's what a center fielder needs to know. I thought you were going to say Toby Maguire for a second. I have a home gym in my garage with, like, almost everything, but I can't lift yet. I got injured. Oh, shit. What happened to you, bro? Smith Bar is 45. I don't... Is it, Mike? I don't think so, dude. I thought the Smith was 20. Nice. Good shit, Ferg. Hell yeah. Let's go. Good inning. Good inning. All right, six more outs, chat. Six more outs. But, you know, I don't think the... Unless I'm wrong, I'll look it up. I'm pretty sure Smith is... Uh, I think the Smith is 20, dude. Oh, well, Chris is saying he thought it was 45, too. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, you throw your arm at a game. Damn. Yeah, that was a good job by Ferguson. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. You look like that one dude off of uh, the Breakfast Club, the nerd. I get that sometimes. The uh, the guy like when he wears his sunglasses or whatever. Jack Campbell sends in two bucks. Thank you, dude. Uh, sends in. You see the end of the Pirates game? No, I didn't. What happened? Did I miss something? I did not see that. I'll look at it now. I want to see how the Mets are doing, anyways. Dan with the Kennergy. <laughs> Let me see. I didn't see Barbie, but I know what that means. Let's see, how much is... First thing I want to find out the Smith machine. How much is Planet Fitness Smith machine bar? Yeah, at least this says 20 pounds, which is what I always heard. I definitely don't think it's... No, a regular bar, like the, the free weight bar, is, is 45. Pirates walked off the Orioles? Oh, word. Let's go. So the Orioles, I think, are only like a game over now. Let's see. Yep. Nice. Yeah, Orioles are 5-4 and four now. Pirates are 8-2, and two, dude. Holy shit, that's the best record in baseball. Yeah, I got you, Chris. Who walked it off? Let's see. <laughs> it was a force out. Nice. Cool. And the Mets are winning 3-1. Good for them. Good for them. Lindor homered. Minaya pitched pretty well again for the Mets. And I have Diaz coming in for the save, so you figure he'll be able to... Ban who? Yo, what is this, dude? He's, like, coming in on multiple accounts. What a fucking weirdo. Fucking bum-ass free. Copy your ass out of here. Hide user. You are gone. Remove. Dude, he's got multiple accounts. He's like just popping in here. Godzilla vs. Kong, Dan vs. Mayo. Yo, bro, for real. For real. Like I said, I should be seeing Godzilla vs. Kong later tonight. Which I don't even think it is like Godzilla vs. Kong this time around, right? Isn't it like... Are they on the same team or something? I don't know. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, chat. Oh, yeah, so this is like... It's Godzilla x Kong. So like Godzilla and Kong. The new empire. Let's see, there's a 715. I'll probably end up doing the 850, probably. Now, sure as hell ain't doing no 3D, I'll tell you that. I'm good off 3D. Yeah, word, I'll do that. Probably 850. Yeah, that'll be good. Gives me time to go to the gym. 
I gotta edit, but I can also edit after that movie. This is crazy. Jimmy just put this out. Look at this pitch. See this pitch to that location? Angel Hernandez called that a ball. Crazy. I'm not just getting on a... Oh! Isn't the woman's... Isn't Caitlin Clark playing? Final score predictions. I had the Blue Jays maybe scoring like one more run, but I'll go uh, I'll, I'll go like 6-4 or 7-4 for Yankees. Isn't the isn't Caitlin Clark playing right now? Um, Moon Miss says, this tied a minus one. I haven't seen that one yet. No, I don't think so. Because the minus one, which I heard great things about, I never saw. That was, Wasn't that a Japanese one? That was Japanese. They had like English sub subtitles for the broadcast in the U.S. Or not the broadcast, but when they showed it in the U.S. Um... So no, I don't think it's related, but I still I do want to see that one. Caitlin Clark has 21 in the first half. Nice. Yes, although UConn women were absolutely screwed. Oh really? I don't know all that much about basketball, but Dan, if the Yankees weren't to win it all, who would be your second choice for a team? <laughs> Can't answer that. Cannot answer that. I appreciate the question though, Sam. Appreciate the question. I just there's no. No, I don't have an answer. A lot of times I don't watch it. Like once the Yankees get bounced, I don't watch the playoffs. I never hated the Mets when I was a kid in like 85, 86, 87. Gooden was fun to watch. I, yeah, I, I don't hate the Mets at all. I have no reason to uh, to hate the Mets, you know? My uh, my boy, Sloak, who is a Mets fan, gets like pissed, I feel like, because I don't hate the Mets and like they want us to hate them the way they hate us. But like, unless it affects the Yankees, like I don't mind if they win. Hell yeah, the win. Hey, chat, Dan is doing such a good job. Thank you, appreciate it. Let's get over 300 likes. Yes, like this video if you can. It does help me out a lot. Never watched basketball before. You don't make that call. I don't know what we're talking about. Oh, I guess you guys are talking to each other about the game. I don't know much about basketball myself. I, I just, Caitlin Clark, I was talking about it a little bit yesterday. She's a beast. Yeah, this guy's changeup is nasty. Word, lead off Walker Soto, though. Hell yeah. Yeah, sub up. Hell yeah. My chat's got my back. I love it. You guys are the shit. The shit. All right, let's score more runs. Lead off walk for Soto. Judges up. I love it. We're all talking about everybody's talking about like the basketball game down in the chat. That's cool. Um, let's see here. Somebody asked me a question before. Um, oh, I lost it. I'll see it again. Ever followed wrestling? Nah. Oh, I know what it was. Somebody asked me like what sports I'm into besides baseball. Uh, well, baseball is at such a higher degree in terms of interest and like passion. The Yankees, obviously, more than just baseball in itself. And then I'm a Jets fan. I watch every game, and losses do upset me. Not as much as the Yankees, but, like, if there's a second favorite sport, it's definitely, and, like, second favorite team, it's definitely the Jets after the Yankees, but, like, significantly low. Like, Yankees are up here. Jets are, like, down here. And then the Knicks are, like, down here. Like, I could never run, like, a Jets fan page if that puts into perspective. But like Yanks have, I fucking love Yanks have. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go, Judge 3-0. Then Rizzo and Stanton on deck. Damn, Soto on Ace Machine, hell yeah. Dan, you should make the chat sub only. Ooh, it's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, he has lost the plate. Especially that changeup, man. He probably He's just really baiting on them swinging and just not. Go judge. Dude, a judge homie here would feed families. 3-1. I might do that, Chris. Yeah, I thought I thought he went too. Keeps trolls and guys out that are unwanted. Yeah, I'll think about that. Ah, shut your ass up, Dyson. Dude, this guy literally just has multiple accounts that he's just coming in here. Boom. Would help you having to ban people too. Yeah, maybe I will do that. Three, two. Ooh, nice. Back to back walks, first and second. First and second. For Rizzo. Nobody out. Let's go. And then after this, I'll uh I'll do a get my post game ready. Mike Rotonda says, Dan, DC or Marvel Marvel. I know Marvel's a shit right now, but I'm a DC guy, Batman rules. Hey man, I mean, I don't even know it's the shit right now, to be honest. I mean, They've, de they've definitely stepped back, and a lot of what they do, Disney in general, I mean, I'm a lot more on the Star Wars side of things, really pisses me off. Although, Disney, I will give them credit on one thing, Star Wars, 
they got animation down. I am so pumped for Tales of the Empire. And like Bad Batch, I love. Clone Wars, obviously, it was great. I mean, they only did one season of that, but um, anyways. Marvel, though. Definitely Marvel. But Star Wars is my shit. Like, honestly, if there's like a second interest outside of the Yankees, it's Star Wars. And then if you want to talk superheroes, specifically Spider-Man. Spider-Man has always been my thing. Fall outside, nice. It goes like Yankees, Star Wars, Elvis, Spider-Man. My four main interests. Blue. Blue lightsaber for sure. Do I go to the John Boy office a lot? No, not really. Um, I go like once a week. Once I'm back in Hoboken next month or June, whenever, I'll be going more. But like right now, I'm two hours away. The commute is like, you know, the bus ride from door to door, from leaving my house to the John Boy office. Honestly, it's almost three hours. So I'm just so much more productive when I work from home. And, um, word three and one. Favorite Jedi, Anakin. Anakin's my shit. I fucking love Anakin. Anakin is the most badass and tragic story in all. And, uh, the story of Anakin Skywalker in general, I stand by this 100%. I don't even know if it's that disputable. The story of Anakin Skywalker, 3 1 on Rizzo. Uh, dropped a change up in there. Um, the story of Anakin Skywalker is the greatest story in, in fiction history, without question. All right, here we go, Riz. 3 2, come on. Ah, fuck. Damn. Hmm, maybe he is tougher on lefties. Facts. <laughs> Dan, you are my pop culture twin. Babu Frick. Yeah, Babu Frick was one of the, the few good things about the sequel trilogy. Which I, The sequel trilogy got off to a good start for me. I loved Force Awakens when it came out. In Last Jedi, even though I didn't love, I honestly, I blame, and I ain't gonna go too hard in the Star Wars talk for those who aren't interested, but just real quick, I blame the fall of the sequel trilogy on J.J. Abrams for what he did with Episode Nine, which Episode Nine is a more enjoyable film if you just turn your brain off. It's like a good popcorn flick just to, you know, like I said, turn your brain off and enjoy. But in terms of story, it's such a mess. Dude, that changeup's gross. Holy crap. All right, let's go, Stan. Come on. Really don't want to strand two back-to-back -back walks to start off the seventh. No. Did that not hit the ground? All right. Oh, yeah. Revenge of the Sith, favorite, favorite movie for sure. Yeah, he did catch it. Probably goes Revenge of the Sith, Return of the Jedi... Empire Strikes Back. In terms of individual enjoyment, like as on its own, Force Awakens is up there. But when you know what comes afterwards, it kind of taints it a little bit. But yeah, no, my top three would be Revenge of the Sith, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back. And that's the that's that MC, like obviously Empire is a better movie technically than Return of the Jedi, but I'm a sucker for happy endings. Favorite fictional baseball player from a movie? Ooh, favorite fictional baseball player, huh? Favorite fictional baseball player. <laughs> Raul Abana is from Moneyball. <laughs> I'm just playing. The only because it looks absolutely nothing like Raul Abana is if you watch it back. Probably, yeah. I, was, I, mean, I can't really think of many. Probably Benny the Jet. Facts, Moon Miss. I know what scene you're talking about with Vader. Peter O'Keefe says, Come on, you're a radio announcer of a whole call account and balls and strikes. No, I'm not, bro. We're just kicking it here. The idea of these streams is that you're watching me while also having the game on. A lot of times I end up like subconsciously doing a call anyways. Like when somebody goes deep, I'm like, that one's real deep to right field. So they're going to the pen. Right? They're going to the pen for Verdugo. I love Rogue One. Rogue One was really good. One of the few, one of the rare Disney success stories. That's probably honestly like in hindsight, like at the time I thought Force Awakens was better. Like, I enjoyed Force Awakens more. But in hindsight, like, that's the one true W that they have. Home run call, Dan? No, I don't have a home run call. I pretty much just, like, mimic Michael K. 300 likes? Hell yeah. Let's go. Thanks, Luan.
Oh, what the hell? The Marlins have reportedly voided Skip Shoemaker's club option for the 2025, allowing him to manage elsewhere. I'm so confused. Does this mean he's leaving? Wait, so are the Marlins letting Skip Shoemaker go? Oh, it just means he'll be a free agent after the year, I guess. Alright. Let's go, Verduce. Come on. Come through here. Give me a single. We'll just get on base. Pass the baton. Oh, Cabrera. This Cabrera guy had him in my franchise mode. These managers are just trying to figure out any way to get him out. Strike. All right, we need a hit here. Need a hit. That was a strike. I will say, Angel sucks and he's annoying as hell. He's gotten a lot of flack today for like calls that weren't that bad. Like That was an obvious strike on Verdugo. Hey, you're good, Chris. Come on, Verdugo's. Yeah, Verdugo's not great against lefties. Nope, oh, that feed just died. All right, I got an 0-1 on Verdugo. Attaboy. Ball gets away. Soto stays put. Do I have any Soto left? A little bit. All done. Come on, Verdugo's. 1-1. One, one. Atta boy. 2-1. Two, one. Two, two. One sec, Chad. I'm just refreshing my uh, just refreshing my um, and will be TV feed. Danik and Skywalker. Actually, when I played for those um, like hardcore Star Wars fans, you know, Knights of the Old Republic, like the RPG games, fire. Um, when I was playing those, I wanted to have like a Star Wars, like an actual Star Wars s name. Could it be Voodoo? Um, so I went to like this name generator, like Jedi name generator, and uh, it gave me my to this day that I'll still use every time I have to be a, like, like make a Jedi name. It's Danico Kono. D A N I K O K O N O, I believe it was, and I still use it to this day. Let's go, Verdukes. Oh shit! I just got spoiled. Line drive to center field. Damn. All right. Can't get too mad at Verdugo there. All right. <laughs> Fire Ash Jedi name. Yeah, that's tough. Can't really get on Verdugo too much for that. Good AB. Good AB and uh, line drive. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, so we got a... Uh, this right here coming up is a pretty big inning. I don't know. I would lean towards I think they're going to keep in Ferguson, but we got Kiermaier, have to get him out, and then Springer and Guerrero. So Kiermaier then top. The three-run lead. We should be all right, but this game is gonna uh, it's gonna finish with the Blue Jays' best. Let me see if there's any good uh, Stanton picks for the post game. I had a sesame seed from the hamburger I didn't even eat on my hand. Giancarlo, no si puo, sto parlo. I guess it'll do. I guess that'll work. I'll show you guys a pick in a second. It's not the best. It's of his backside, but... It will have to do. Feast favorite, uh... Least favorite Yankee player? I mean, on the current team right now, I just I do not have one. It's kind of a, uh... What do they call it? An oxymoron? Dan, read the Darth Plagueis book. It's great. I actually own that, dude. I own that book. Um, I never read it, though. Uh, I've heard great things, though. 
Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? The Joe Torre book? Yo, the Joe Torre book's fucking great. I got it right here. Right here. The Yankee Years. I highly recommend. There's a couple books I can highly recommend. But this book right here, The Yankee Years. Now, this is from, shout out Central Regional. Their library. Never actually checked it out. Just grabbed it and never returned it. Read this like two or three times. And, uh, yep, Ferguson's still in. This shit is so good. If you're a Yankee fan, you gotta pick this up. Whether it's a library or, you know, get on the Amazon or something. Amazing. And then, uh, if you're really looking to, like, say you just really want to, like, study the team and just, like, understand the whole history. Nice. Owen 2 on Kiermaier. This book right here by Marty Appel, Pinstripe Empire. Like, this is... Crap, how many pages is this, man? I mean, it's like 600 pages just worth of knowledge. The entire history of the Yankees, like, into the 2010s. So if you're, like... This is a good, like, good, like off season, which is a lot of my Yankee reading comes, is in the off season. But uh, Pinstripe Empire, I really recommend this. There's a bunch. bunch of books I recommend. Of course, the latest from Andy Martino. Lincoln bio to pre-order. The Yankee Way. This year, I'm only a few chapters in because I just got it the other day. The Untold Inside Story of the Brian Cashman Era. So check that out. Link in bio. It comes out in uh, mid-May. And no, you don't have to ask how I got it early. No big deal, chat. No big deal. And shit, while we're kind of plugging, I mean, not that I like, that's just doing Andy Martino a favor, but he sent, sent me it early, um, which is dope. Um, you go to any games, you go to any games, use code YANKSAV, 20 bucks off your first SeatGeek order. Say you get two tickets that cost 50 bucks, you can bring it down to 30. Code YANKSAV, $20 off your first SeatGeek purchase. All right, 2-2 two -two from Ferguson, ground ball up the middle. Come on, Volpe, get him. Kimar's quick. Got him? He got him. He's out. Let's go, Volpe. Fuck yes. Let's go, chat. I hope he's actually out, but he did He did look out. Boy, is that a nice play. God, I hope he's out. He's out. They're not overturning that shit. He's out. He's out. Dan Library Fees or Mayo, but it's from a... Uh, which Brian Hoke book score? I think I have them. I have all of Brian Hoke's books except the COVID one. Because to be honest, and I told him this, I was like, I have all your books. I have no interest in reminiscing over the COVID season. Toronto's challenging. They're not overturning this shit. They're not. No, no, no. They're not overturning this shit. I do not see them overturning this shit. That shit. <laughs> that sounded pretty zesty the way I just said it. All right. Right now, what is the current score? 6-3. They're not overturning that. They can't. Boy, this is a serious game changer if they overturn this. Yeah. 62? Yeah, I got 62. I got, uh, I got all of Brian Hoke's books. Once again, besides, um, besides uh, the COVID book. But uh, yeah, I got 62 right here. Big fan of this, obviously. This one's sad to look at now, the Baby Bombers. But at the time, it was a great read. Crazy to look back on it. This shit was dope when it came out, though. Um, this I can also highly recommend. Mission 27. Uh, it's about the 2009 Yankees. This is a Brian Hope book. Also Mark Feinstein. Um, this was really good, too. Nice. Call stands. Let's go. Huge. Let's go. Fuck yeah, Volt. That was a nice-ass play. Nice-ass play. Hell yeah. It's a big play. And now Boone's going to the pen, so I guess they will go to Santana here. Yeah, facts, Chris. The Volpe hate on that one play was, I mean, come on. Cool. All right, so good job by Ferguson. Good job by Ferguson. His line finishes at, what, an inning and a third? Inning two-thirds? Did he start the sixth or the seventh, excuse me? Where are we at? Yeah, inning and a third. Nice. Inning in the third, one hit, no runs, 1K. Ferguson's been good so far. ERA's now at 1-8. He's been good. Just had that one blemish the other day in the opener. And then we'll go to uh, Santana to get Vlad. Santana versus Vlad. Cool. Good shit, Boone. I like it so far. Yeah, the, the call on the field there definitely played a big role. Like, if they did it, if they called it a... Ooh, I like this question. Sorry to interrupt. Dr. Full, what do you think about A-Rod? Yankee great or no? 
A Rod is my favorite player of all time. A Rod is the reason I'm doing this right now. A Rod's the reason I fell in love with baseball. I was honestly an A Rod fan before being a Yankee fan. I think he is the most badass motherfucker of all time. Is he a Yankee? Great. Very loaded question that cannot be answered simply. I do not think A Rod is a Hall of Famer. And my reason for that is yes, steroids is one. And not just because he used. If A Rod just had his first go around with steroids, which when he admitted to it, he acknowledged that in 2001 to 2003 with the Texas Rangers, he did use. If he just stayed at that, that was the only blemish on his career, I think without question he's a Hall of Famer. Because that would have been the same same category as David Ortiz, right? You, you test positive on the Mitchell Report and survey testing, all that. You know, you use PDs when it was a thing. And it was very much a thing. That was the culture. I understand that. But A Rod using the second go around. And the same can be said about Manny Ramirez. We're just talking about A Rod. A Rod using from 2010 to 2012 when it was well known to be illegal. Penalties were in place. And that was that took place afterwards when A Rod was like, you know, because he got caught for the first time in 2009 it came out. Ugh, MLBT. I gotta fucking refresh this shit. Um, he was like, I want you to look at me from this day forward. Which at first was, I mean, it was like a Hollywood script. He said that and then went on to be clutch as hell in 09, ground ball to left side, nice. Over to first. Oh, I forgot. They still had a face Springer. Two dead. Good shit. Anyways, to wrap this up, um, if A-Rod just didn't use that second go-around from 2010 to 2012, it was if it was only 01 to 03, not only is he like already in Monument Park, he's a Hall of Famer. With that said, I would like to still think that there's a chance his number gets retired. Because if not for him, the Yankees probably only have 26 World Series titles right now and not 27. Because he had one of the greatest postseasons in baseball history in 2009. And definitely one of the most clutch. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Hell yes. Good shit, Santana. Let's go. Oh, dude, Jeter's underrated at this point. I would say, like, Jeter maybe used to be overrated, like, for, like, like the slightest amount, really, only because, like, his defense was praised like crazy. But now his defense is so overhated that he's become underrated. And offensively, people do not give Jeter enough credit, man. And I'm not just talking about longevity. Like, Jeter's prime, like, you look at his stats from, like, you go from, like, 1998 to 2009, like, one of the greatest offensive primes for a shortstop. Like, go, and if you want to look like an individual season, like, go look at Derek Jeter's 1999, or his 2006, or his 2009. Hate on Jeter. You don't remember the late 90s? Oh, I wasn't born then, so I definitely don't. I'm just saying, like, a lot of the uh, kids my age will, you know, call Derek. It's a common theme to call Derek Jeter overrated because, you know, he had, like, negative 60 defensive runs saved. And I'll, that I will acknowledge. Like, Jeter's range, especially towards the later part of his career, declined quite massively. But one thing about his defense, even in the later part of his career, if you hit a ball to him, he would make the play. And early on, his defense was pretty damn good, and his arm strength was incredible. And going back to the thing I said about it before, his offensive prime was nuts. And that I'm just explaining as like, because Jeter's obviously a Hall of Famer. Jeter's obviously, like anybody who says he's overrated is an idiot. But some people just dismiss it as like, oh, he was, he benefited like crazy from being on the Yankees. His defense was overrated. He was not that good of an offensive player. Like, that's just not true. It's just not true. You're a bit younger. Totally understandable. A-Rod is a go-to. Yeah, I love A-Rod. How old am I? How old am I? A-Rod kissing himself in a mirror is hilarious. Yeah, he always had little shit like that. That was A-Rod was definitely awkward, but that wouldn't have... If it was just that stuff and not the second go-around of steroids, which somebody mentioned it before. I mean, you could... There's rumors that A-Rod was using back in a high school. I mean, there's a lot of rumors like that with guys. I kind of... Especially with steroids, I really only go by like what's documented for the most part. Um... But yeah, A-Rod's, honestly, we're talking about Star Wars and Anakin before. I contribute, like, A-Rod's story, like, very similar to Anakin Skywalker. Had all the talent in the world, had it all right there for him, and he, he threw it away because he got greedy. Obviously, very different circumstances, but great show last night. Had to come back today. Hell yeah, man. Thanks, dude. No, I mean, I don't remember 9-11, unfortunately. I mean, I watched 9-11 documentaries like crazy. So I'm obviously I'm very educated on the situation. But nah, yeah, I was just uh, one, one years old. But hey, I also don't remember 2004, thank God. 
Jason Giambi, Golden Thong, it's hilarious. Yeah. Based on the start, do you move Volpe up in the lineup? We've brought it up, yeah. What are my thoughts on what, Nick? I did not see what you said. Most exciting Yankees team since 72 with a 95 team. Yeah, a lot of people think... it was That, that was the strike year or no? No, that wasn't the strike year. That was the year they... How did he throw it away? By taking roids, dude. If A-Rod didn't take roids, I mean, he was... He's one of the greatest players of all time, but he's not really looked at that in that light because of the roids. And this isn't coming from me being a hater, dude. At least... I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, add a boy, Volpe. Let's go. Three hit day for Volpe. 94 is a strike here, right? And then 95, they lost to the Mariners. They lost to A-Rod's Mariners. Well, I shouldn't call him A-Rod's Mariners because he wasn't even really playing at that time. But I talk about A-Rod's, like, the end of his Yankee tenure. Not the end because 2015 was awesome. Yeah, Volpe's great, which now he's at. Let's see. Oh, they still got an update on the box score. But um, real quick on A-Rod. It's like it's it's tragic, man. It's very upsetting because he didn't need it. You can ask anybody, man. Like Arod had all the talent in the world. Probably the most naturally talented baseball player anybody has ever seen. He did not need to take roids. And not to mention the years he did take roids the second time around, like twenty ten to twenty twelve, were like the worst years of his career. Volpe now batting four twenty four. Seventy two is a strike year. They lost the first week of games. The Tigers won the AL East division by half a game in the Red Sox. Okay. Yeah, not too familiar with the early seventies I don't I'm not as familiar as much. Late seventies, of course. I talked about it yesterday, but the Bronx's Burning series, it's on YouTube. ESPN did it in like the early two thousands, like two thousand five. All about the seventy seven Yankees. Holy crap, that shit's good. I might watch that again. Um Dan, who do you think can break Barry Bonds' home run record? Uh, won't even look at the options. The only guy there is Judge. I appreciate the question. Let's go, Volpe. Second stolen base of the year. You're right. Good shit, Volpe. Oh, that's his third of the year. Oh, we did have a stolen base earlier? Did Volpe steal a base earlier? I wish this box score had stolen bases. Yeah, the Broncos is yeah, so good. So good. And like the actors in that were like the guy who plays Bill Martin, oh my god. Dude, let's go, Volpe! It was Volpe alright. He keeps looking like he's like hurt on these slides. Let's go. He just stole third base. That's fucking crazy. I gotta uh there's my YouTube feed here, uh for the highlights, went away. I got to go back in time and get both those uh, stolen bases. He's insane. He is insane. I'm just going to tweet out Anthony Volpe. That's it. That's it. That's the tweet. That's how people talk. That's how the chronically online people talk in real life. They're like, that's it. That's the tweet. One sec, Jet. Let's go, Waldo. Fuck yes. All right, I gotta go back in time and get those stolen bases. Nice. Word. Let's go, Waldo. All right, we're gonna make a little compilation here. Hey, get those stolen bases. Nice. Okay. Um, we'll do... Let me get the Volpe single. This is for Instagram. Oh, they got Cabrera. Let's see. Volpe. Nice. And then another stolen base for Volpe. I know Cabrera's got thrown out, but whatever. All right. Nice. Shout out Waldo, by the way. Hell yeah. RBI single for him. 
Word. So this Yanks half post, I have included the Volpe single, still still second, steals third, and then the Waldo single, all in one post. Boom, boom, boom. One sec, chat. Anthony. Dude, Volpe's such a beast. Records his third, in all caps, hit of the day. And then proceeds to steal second and third before Oswaldo Cabrera drives him in. Why am I? I'm typing like a cave in now. With an RBI single. 7-3 Yankees. No play. Let's go. All right, word. Nice. Boom. Up on the IG. All right. Cool. Who just got that hit? Is that Glaves? Here's, yep. Word. Only one out still. First and third for Soto. Let's go, Soto. Come on. I would not mind a Soto walk and then bases loaded for Judge. Something about Boba Shet rubs me the wrong way. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah, we're at Glaber is up to 250 now. The power's not there, but the OBP, even more important, is at 340. Left center field. Oh, he caught it. Sack fly. All good. Hey, that's that's a big run. That's a big run. Nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, honestly, I thought that was going to end up being over his head. But we will take a sack fly, chat. We will take a sack fly. Those are two really big runs. 8-3 game now. I guess they just won't go to Clay. They'll probably keep it in Santana. Cool. Hell yeah, yo. Damn, 400 people here. Let's go. Yo, if you're in here, please drop. Uh, do me a favor. Drop a like. All right, let me get this Soto sack fly up. And then, holy crap, yo. Three more outs and then... uh. We got ourselves a ball game. This has been a good ass time, chat. Sunday night watching. Sunday, no, Sunday afternoon watching. Good baseball. Soto. Eight three Yankees. Hell yeah. Boom boom. Wait, why am I? Nice. All right. Sack fly is up on Yanks. Ev. Cool. Hell yeah. Drop a like for me if you could. Then, uh, yeah, three more outs. And, folks, that would improve us to eight and two. Gives us three straight, if we win, not over yet, but if we win, three straight series wins to start off the season. Which would obviously be incredible. And the Blue Jays would fall to four and six. Who gets the win? Who, who came in after, uh, was it Cousins that came in after Heal? I think so. All right, Cousins is going to technically get the W because Heal didn't go five again. Heal would get the W, and then Francis would get the L, which is his second L of the season, if this holds on. I keep saying if because I don't want to piss off the baseball gods. Dan, this stream is fun AF. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. More fun for me, bro. This is literally like I look forward to this every day. And I love like getting it all set up. Like I, I love making all these graphics. I mean, these are now outdated now. But uh, like that, the lineup stuff, like getting all this shit ready. Like I'm really enjoying doing these. So trust me, dude. I'm right there with you. What was I just doing? Cousins win. 1-0. Losing pitcher. 
What's this guy's name again? Francis? Is that what it was? Francis, yep. That guy's stepbrother. I wonder if he's still in here. Francis 0 and 2. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So as of right now, if this holds up, this is what we're looking at, folks. The Yankees Avenue post game. Nice pitch. Yesterday I had to change the post game. Like, God, let's see. Let's see how many times. We can go back to it. I'll show you. Yeah. Look at all these. You can see there there was one, two, three, four different versions of the post game yesterday because they just kept tacking on runs. Not tacking on, but inching closer. Oh, come on, Blue. Good shit, Santana. Santana's kind of nasty, man. I mean, spring training, he looked great. But uh, I didn't get to see him on like from the broadcast angle because I was at the home opener. And you could always like appreciate a guy's stuff more from the like, watching on TV. And like just watch him now. I mean, he's... The Yankees have a piece here. Who's Santana? He, uh, the Yankees signed into a minor league deal back in uh, December. He, uh, he used to be with the Mets. What the hell? Um, used to be with the Mets... Uh, I think he's kind of bounced around, but yeah, minor league deal, and then he was added to the roster once uh, Loisco went on the 60-day. This would be a one and two-third inning save for him if he closes it out, right? No, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Or would it be? Because I know, like, obviously a save within three runs, that's standard save, and then if you pitch three innings to close it, that's a save. Kirk to right field. Soto's got it. I could get this ready. Is it? Is it a save? Yeah, I might take your guys' word for it. I know, yeah, there's one where you gotta go three. But if he's in... I don't... No, I know the save is three runs, but there is, like, some weird rules for it. I'm gonna go with no, because you gotta, uh... All we know is next is he came in the eighth, and it was technically a save situation, and he's still pitching. I'm going to go with not, though. If I'm wrong, I will eat my words. Yankees win again to improve. And, y'all, I'll check out your super chat in one second, bro. I appreciate you. I'm just getting my post game caption right. Dude, eight and two is nuts, bro. Driven to right. Let's go, chat. One more out. One more out. Yankees. Yankees have won three to three this season. Hell yeah. One more out. Let's go. Ferret Nuclear sends in 10 bucks. Strike three. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Eight and two. Three straight series victories to begin the 2024 season. Stan with the Grand Slam. Heel pitched pretty well. Could have been better with the control, but, you know, working on that. Did have, what, eight Ks? Bullpen was pretty good for the most part, especially, dude, Dennis Santana. Shout out to him. But let me read this super chat real quick. MOY fan here in NZ. Thanks for making my Monday morning a bit easier. Hell yeah, dude. Monday, 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 Monday morning. I don't know where. You, what is, where's NZ? But either way, but either way, dude. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Joe Knotson's in 4.99. Thank you so much, dude. The Yankees win. Dan's man. Nah, stop, bro. I appreciate you. Run that grand slam back one more time. I got you. It's gonna be uh, the getaway of doing it. But here's the uh, here's the Stanton grand slam. Boom. Uh, wait, you want audio? Ho oh. ho. The hell out of here. Badass. 
Let's go. So, uh, yo, I got to uh, bounce and make highlights. But thank you guys so much for uh, tuning into another stream. Oh, NZ is New Zealand. Oh, my bad. Hell yeah, dude. Um, this was a dope-ass stream. I enjoyed the hell of this. I'm enjoying all of them. We'll be back tomorrow. Yankees are uh, – it's a night game. But remember, yo, Sean D, you're making me rich, bro. I appreciate you. Sends it five bucks. Yankees W. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Right. I will not forget Vladdy falling in the highlights. I give you my word. Um, speaking of, I got to get on those. But uh, we got the Marlins coming to town tomorrow. First pitch is at 6 o'clock. 6.05. We'll probably be on here at like 5.30 for like our little pregame thing. Um, and the Marlins are, looks they're up 10 to 1 against the Cardinals. Looks like they're getting their first win, which is nice. Get the, it wasn't a save? You're right, you're right. Yo, you're right. You're right. My bad, my bad. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you guys. You were right. Santana did get a save, which I guess would make sense because he came in in the eighth when it was a safe situation and then maintained the lead. Um, cool. Okay, um... Got to bounce. See you guys tomorrow, probably around 5.30. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you all. Let's go, Yankees. 8-2, baby. Here we go. Peace. Mm -hmm.